last we left off, the party had finished a long rest in the eerily quiet tavern, illuminated by strange color from mu mushrooms, gems, and bushes. After resting up, they pushed forward into the cave, discovering a purple shining portal up ahead and an offshoot of the cave going right, guarded by another arcane eye on the ground. The party chose to go right, which was odd given it was, it was the only direction that had any indication of danger. <laughs> they all evaded you know the eye with various techniques uh, <laughs> as Doran sifted through more of those sweet, sweet barrels. Once everyone had settled, the party began investigating a strange statue of a portly man kneeling down, holding a large bowl. Doran tasted the bowl, burning the ever-loving shit out of his tongue and spitting his blood back into the bowl. The party joked about not messing with it given past experiences, and Six warned Doran not to put blood in the bowl. Doran, being Doran and being a little mad at Six at the time, immediately did exactly that, eventually bleeding into it enough out of spite for Six that it opened another nearby portal. Bess once again touched it out of curiosity and vanished, followed closely by a probably very worried Six. Doran, after they had left, rolled a nearby barrel into the portal and grabbed a vase before heading in, followed by Alistair. Then, the party found themselves now in a bio-illuminated sanctuary full of massive trees and small ponds, as well as mounds of various materials, lumber, scrap, uh, bits and pieces, rocks, a few faintly glowing staircases illuminated the area as well. Doran implored Six to open the barrel he'd rolled in, and Six obliged, revealing a mass of mostly congealed blood, which was eventually <laughs> poured onto one of the piles. <laughs> <laughs> then, before investigating the staircases, the party moved to a shimmering, in, uh, a, a shimmering light coming out of one of the nearby ponds. Anyway, as the party <laughs> approached... <laughs> The the shimmering in the water, discovering it was coins, Alistair <laughs> cleverly conjured an unseen servant to grab the coins. But, despite the cleverness of perceiving a possible trap, the trap was sprung anyway, and his efforts to collect the coins with six was quickly thwarted as a nearby mound of metal, uh, as, um, what the fuck? I'm sorry, my page just closed. Well, I'll have to hell? reopen that, but but I'll just continue. Uh, as a nearby mound of metal, along with many of the coins in the pond, congealed and formed into a mechanoid, gear-driven steam, uh, steam-powered spider. Tr there it is. Spider. 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 Uh, spider. Steam-powered giraffe. Spider. That's a good band. That is a good band. Okay, my my thing's back up. Um, and the spider immediately blasted the entire party with a cone of fire as they were all right next to each other, right in front of it. A battle ensued, which the party eventually won due to a combination of cleverly placed spells and the bravery of Six and Bess jumping atop the cat, the, the creature, and dropping coins and a leaf dagger, handed up by Alistair, into its inner clockwork, which eventually rendered it useless. As the mechanoid creature fell and its lights went out, the party collected the coins they could find and took a well-earned short rest, during which Bess learned a bit more about the creature. After their rest, while Six and Doran were bickering about whether and how they could take the spider with them on their journey to use for themselves, uh, pr probably bringing it to priests, to someone who could get it up and running, I guess, Bess began investigating the staircases. As they did nothing but glow dimly and hum lightly, Six investigated a pile of old parchment in which he found an old complaint about the cost of something. This gave Doran an idea, and he dropped a coin into one of the staircases, to no avail. Then he had another idea, and dropped a gold coin into the pond they had fought the spider in, which activated one of the nearby portals. And that is where we will return, as Six and oh. Doran finish up some of their bickering. Because it's like I portal. It's portal. Oh, I fucking hate you guys. As Six and Doran continue, <laughs> finish up some of their bickering, or not, we'll see. And the party reconvenes back at the pond to make their next move. So, Bronze Toads, you have activated one of the portals. The creature is not active. You all reconvene at the pond. What will you do? We are not taking it with us. <laughs> End of it. End of it. There's, there's no if and but or other things. But uh, I just said <laughs> no but. <laughs> your, point, your point is invalid. I said no buts. We could we could use it later though. Was the was the point? If uh, if we took it if we took it with us. But I. You've made no argument to how we're doing that. 
You know, we could thing? always come back for it. That's what I'm saying. I think that's a good idea. I don't know why you're being so argumentative about this. <laughs> oh, sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flick you. <laughs> With aggression involved in that flick. Um... Can I is there is there a, like a, a loose bolt or something like that I could I could take with us? A loose bolt? Something just just a piece of the uh, of of the creature. Oh yeah, the spider. you could e easily hop back on and 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 just reach in and pull out. It might be kind of hot, but pull out like one of the small gears or a mechanical piece of some sort. Yeah. Okay, I do that and I put it in my pocket to remind me to come back. Yeah, absolutely. You can mark that in your inventory however you'd please or like. Copy that. I don't know. Either works. Are, are we going through this portal, or do we want to open? Oh, I get it. They're portals. <laughs> open that one. <laughs> you did this um, to yourself. I sure did. But I don't. I, it's the only one that's open. Well, that's because I paid for it. Well, we we can't go through any of the other ones. They're closed. But we could try to open them. Okay. Six, walk up to pick a portal, walk up the staircase, do it, walk back down and throw a coin in the pile. Pond. Um I choose the one that's on the right. Okay, the one on the far oh, right. Or do we have the map? The map? Yeah, the yeah, map. Yeah, the room that we're Oh, in. I'm so sorry. I didn't move you over there. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm looking at it right now. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that multiple times. Yeah. Uh, I am dumb DM. <laughs> dumb DM does not know how to DM. Oh, I forgot I had my vase. Yes, you have a vase. vase. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have your vase, which once had congealed blood in it, but now is prestidigitation to clean. <laughs> After you spend some time washing it in a pond before realizing, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Right, okay, six, you move over to the one on the right, sure thing. Um, and then I go back and throw a coin in the uh, in the in the pool. What kind of coin? Um, a gold coin. A gold coin? Okay. Remove gold the gold coin from your inventory. Coin. As you toss it in, nothing happens. Alright, man. I did I it. I go in and I pick up his gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't do it right. I pick up my gold coin. Uh, okay. Will you pick up your gold coin out of the yeah, out of the pond? Does that one, does that one shut off. It sure does. I hand him his gold coin back. Now I'll try it again with gusto. Um. Gusto. I look at Bess and squint my eyes. I squint my <laughs> eyes right back. Uh, uh, <laughs> I I turn around, close my eyes, and toss it over my shoulder, shouting. Gusto. Okay, uh, you, you toss the gold coin over your shoulder. You hear the ploop of it falling into the water, and the same staircase over on the left activates again with a yellow glow. Ta-da! I'm going like to pull out a uh, silver piece and flick it in. Okay, and as you do so, you hear the ploop of it entering the water, and the portal up to the north begins glowing with a dim silver glow. I, uh, look at six, and I put a copper in there. Okay. And as you might expect, on the far right, a dim copper glow. I have one more test, and I'm getting this piece back. I'm going to put one platinum in there. Okay. You throw the platinum in, nothing happens. Okay, I grab my platinum Yeah, back. you can grab it back. <laughs> and it's consumed by the pond. Fuck you. I'm just fucking mad. I, um, look at everyone. Okay, now we have our choice of portals. Now you're thinking with portals. Oh, I get it, because they're portals. Ha-ha! <laughs> you made $1.69 off that joke. <laughs> I sure did, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, all portals seem to be activated. All right. Question for the DM. Go ahead. I I pre I'm pretty sure Jordan will remember. Which, of what which coinage was most abundant in the pond most abundant in the pond um i think it was silver actually you rolled for that um okay so what i'm trying I to i want to i want to say it was actually gold right 
That sounds right to me. I think it was gold. Oh. I think you rolled for 53 gold. Six rolled for 53 gold, right? I think so. Yeah. They that, updated that right. the look of the, the roll 20. Did they? If you go under settings, all the checkboxes are now blue. <laughs> Great. Mine are, mine are not. Mine are not. But ah, you mine guys are... have stupid roll 20. We have, we have dumb mine old roll 20. Anyway, uh, uh, gold was probably the most common. I have a follow-up question, but that's a super meta question, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm trying to figure out which door I could figure which opens the most. Bess is going to walk towards the one that she was at before, which was... Uh, wasn't it this one? The copper, I think? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are we walk oh, over to it? Are we going to the copper door? Uh, I think that's where I'd like to go. I don't know cool. about you guys. I pick back up my the gold piece and <laughs> start walking. Okay. And the, the... I'll leave my silver in there. Then the gold one... Will fade away, and the silver are... and copper portals are left open. Do, do you need that, Alistair? Um, you fucking greedy bastard! Take the silver. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to know if you need it. I walk away from it without any hesitation. I give a thumbs up. I I believe I know who should be the first through the gate. Me, me, pick me. Uh, I, I was gonna throw the vase. Pick the vase. All for Bernice going through the portal? I. Noah seems to agree. <laughs> seems like the logical explanation. Say it again. Seems like the logical explanation. We heard them the first time. <laughs> oh. yeah. Should Bernice go through the portal first? Do it. Do it. Do it. Six. Um, ask me again. Should Bernice go through the portal first? Bernice? The, the vase. Yeah. Alistair? I'll just go through the portal. <laughs> do, you, do you just walk through the portal? Sure. <laughs> okay. As you're asking if Bernice or the vase should go through first, Alistair, just calmly. You, as you ask him, he goes, I'll just go. And he pff, walks through. The second he does that, I, I throw the vase through it. I <laughs> sigh and I just kind of step backwards and... <laughs> so, so I imagine like the way you, you see him going up, you're like, oh, and you, you throw the vase through and it disappears. And then Alistair. No, sees I want it. to throw it directly after him. Oh, okay. So, so <laughs> Alistair, you see a vase port. coming at your face as you step backwards. You're like, oh shit. And then you're through the portal. <laughs> does, does the vase go through? It does. I look at six. He's not going to be very happy with me. I hope Bernice is okay. And I'm just going to walk through the portal. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting the all blanket. Yeah. All perfect. the check boxes are blue now. Nice. Does the rest Sorry, of the party what? step through? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you all step yeah. through, <laughs> Doran, would you roll a straight dex check for me, unskilled? You are rolling to hit. <laughs> 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 A dirty 20. Alistair, I think that hits. <laughs> okay, oh, no. you all you all step through the portal, and as soon as you do, you hear a thunk, and you hear uh, Alistair go, ah, as um, Doran, would you roll 1d4 of damage for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> as he gets clonked in the face with Does a face. <laughs> we'll find out. One. Okay, no, it does not break, unless he lets it fall to the ground and break. Actually, I'm not catching it. Okay, so it smacks him in the face and then <laughs> smashes all over the floor. And here you are. As you step through and see, <laughs> see Alistair get clonked in the face, you are now surrounded by large, large chunks of what appears to be hysterium and a lightly flowing pool beneath you, about 10, 15 feet down. Can I mend the vase? You can mend one piece at a time, so it'll take quite a while. Oh. I, I I look at the vase and look at Alistair. What'd you do that for? The vase now has a oh, death symbol. Oh, because I fucking hated it. And I especially hated it when it was that close to my face. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I make a point to walk around the vase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to look at the water. How far down is it to the water? Uh, about 10 to 15 feet, depending on where you stand. Where I am right now. 
Um, probably about about 15 feet on this ledge. You can see actually across this body of water these uh, these taller uh, formations that seem to be maybe 20 to 25 feet up cropping out of the, the body of water. What's this thing? What's what thing? Uh, bottom right corner. Oh, yes. As you look across... Oh, that. <laughs> That's um, the ghost of fuck you. Um, Shit. Is this as, the portal on the, uh, on the yes, right side Yes, as, as you look across, <laughs> in, the, in the distance, you can see a gold glowing portal. Uh, guys? Yes. Yeah. Wait, is, is this one still active? I was just moment? about to say, as you turn around to check, it has deactivated. Should we be leaving breadcrumbs? No. We can leave pieces of the vase. Like, from Ber here on. Bernice deserves better than that. Yeah, six. How could you suggest something like that? Yeah, six. Fuck you. I wasn't thinking clearly. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start walking ahead. You I'm already gonna, have, I'm, yeah. As I get over here, I'm going to let go. Six! Dorian, you're gonna have to jump with me on your back, of course. Um, wait. I can. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um. All right. Well, I'll jump first, and you can follow me over on my back. Sounds like a plan to me. Six, do you have a strength of 20? What's your strength Sometime. score? Because <laughs> your strength score is your long jump distance. But you can augment that with good rolls. You can try. Oh! <laughs> Six, before you go jumping, I have a plan. Oh. All right. What's the plan there? I assume you the rest of you move up to Doran. Okay. I'm gonna tie my 50 foot of rope around my waist. Oh, sorry, the vase does not move with you. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna tie the 50 foot of hemp rope around my waist and hand the other end to six. I All think right. there's an invisible bridge, and I'm gonna just walk. Okay, so you just step off? Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. Goodbye! How can one character be so fucking stupid? <laughs> Two things. First, six, roll the strength check to catch Dorn as he starts falling off the cliff. Do I have to? You don't have to. You can let him fall if you'd like. I'm kidding. I'm rolling the strength check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, Doran, with all the things you're carrying, what's your approximate weight that Six is trying to carry Fuck. full right now? Six is dead. Uh, with the fact that I only weigh about 110, uh -huh. I'm about 170. 170. Okay. 170, 180. I, I have very little weight on me, honestly. Okay. Well, Six... Doran yes. fall, starts falling, and you grab the rope and you pull, and you are being like your your feet are sliding, and Doran, you are slowly falling down, <laughs> like against the the cliff face, and and as you look down, Doran, you particularly hear a low rumble, and then a almost like a like a like a droning sound from the water below, and you see ripples emanating from it. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Um, it's sex, like a... I, I made a very big miscalculation. And, and, and you are slowly being dragged down as Six is like, uh, trying to pull you. And Six, you are now here at the, at the at nearing the cliff. I am going to use a fifth level spell slot. Uh-huh. And use Wall of Force. I can make ten, ten by ten foot panels. I'm going to make them in a straight line all the way to the other side. And just okay. start walking up. Okay, so you're making yourself a staircase? All the way up and to the other side of here, because I have a hundred feet range. Okay. So it is just all the way to the other side. Okay. So <laughs> I just, I'm gonna walk. So, so, right, suddenly the tension stops, and you look down, and he's walking on nothing. 
Oh, you found it. Yeah, you should follow because the we have um one minute. Yes. Oh, um, ten minutes. Oh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, Dorn, as you start walking up the steps with disadvantage because you have cover now. Does a thirty hit you? That's a disadvantage. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> Doran, once again, you hear the <laughs> emanating from the water below, and a massive eel-like creature with a bulbous, uh, bulbous abdomen and large spine tail whips out from the water below you and smacks you with its tail, and you are going to take. Let's see. You're going to take 18 bludgeoning damage, as well as 10 lightning damage. And please roll a d4 for me. Um, give me a sec. I'm trying to do math, but I'll roll a d4 yeah. first before I start mining. Yeah, so it's 28 out. damage total. And roll a d4. Um, hey, Holden. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, four. Doran, you are whipped. 10 feet to the right and plummet into the water. And now oh. we are rolling initiative. Oh, okay, I have an oh, I believe, <laughs> give me a sec, I should have advantage on all of those. On all of. No, I don't. That's a fail. My wall's gone. Ooh, okay. All right, switching song for, for uh, rhythm. <laughs> Okay, so I got Doran. Let's roll this bad boys. Oh, by the way, um, by the way, when you were like a thirty on disadvantage, you don't want to know what the other roll was. It's a good thing you had. I I, I gave you a disadvantage because of the cover you had, because it rolled a nat twenty on the other. <laughs> That's not <laughs> fun for me. So you cancel out a nat twenty. <laughs> I could have given it advantage. I could have gotten rid of its disadvantage. You, you could have. What the fuck would be the point of that? <laughs> it would also be actually completely up to hold because I didn't see it, so. Mm, yeah, that would be interesting. I'd, I'd have to look into the specifics of uh, how you do that. But yes. Um, okay, so I got Bess, I got Doran, I need Alistair and Six. Did Six oh, already? Shit. Yeah, initiative for me. Uh, um, he's eating breadsticks, it's okay. Doran, right, yeah, what's, your, yeah, what's your bonus? One. Okay, Bess, what's your bonus? Four. Okay. Bess, what's your total mm. deck score? Wait, never mind. It doesn't matter, like actually. Total deck score? Yeah, I actually don't need it. Never mind. Like, total what? deck score. Um, it's 19. Yeah, you're fine. You're going to beat it. Um, Alistair, what's your total? My total deck score or my total initiative? The total initiative. 13. 13. And six. Did you roll? I did. I got myself. Uh, what did I roll? I do not see it. I swear to Christ, I rolled. <laughs> you have to select like your you. token first. Okay, I've selected my dude, and now I am clicking initiative. Does that work? Anyone? Son of a... I do not see it. Uh, tell you what, if you want to just... Oh, whoa, 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 there they all are. Whoa, okay. <laughs> whoa. Okay, we'll uh, take that first one, which was a 10. Beautiful. What's your bonus? Uh, five. Five. Okay. The fuck six. Yeah. <laughs> six just jumps eight times in one second. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. So reordering. You and then you. Okay. Wow. You guys all beat it. All right. Um. Let me actually. Uh, this is gonna be super rudimentary. I'm. S oh wait. Never mind. I do not need to draw the the bridge because it is gone because you failed your um. Yep. Your check. Thank you very much for um holding yourself to that so six you see this massive creature whip its tail out of the water and spike doran down into the water with it what do you do uh do i still have the rope uh oh yes you do still have the rope connected to him um and it's 5 I 10 15 20 25 around 30. my waist yeah so you, there, and there's still probably about 10 or 15 feet of slack all right i uh very quickly tie it around my waist and dive into the water Okay, Here, here's how we're going to okay, go. So diving into the water, we can just call that movement. That's cool. cool. Do you want, I will allow either one of these. You can, have a, you can use an item interaction 
to tie it, which will be just a very quick, like, fuck, tie, and it might go wrong. Or you can use your whole action to give it a proper knot before you dive in. Uh, I will I will do the, the secondary. Proper okay, knot. proper knot. You, t you take a few seconds to tie a proper knot, and you dive in. Okay, where are you diving in? You have your movement. Um, basically, I would like to aim kind of right about here towards the center of its back. You're just going to um, dive onto it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you jump onto the back of the creature. I'm not even going to bother with fall damage because you don't take it because monk bullshit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All Great. right, we have an, uh, an encounter that wasn't supposed to be a TPK, but, you know, we just roll that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Also, Six, as you jump onto its back... Oh, shit, yeah. You take eight right. lightning damage as you land on it, and you are zapped. And you can feel the electricity coursing through you. All right. <laughs> okay, Alistair, shit kicks off. What are you doing? <laughs> Panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't like that one bit, Holden. Can I see the creature's head? Oh yeah, it's poking out from the water now. You can, you can like its fins, its four little fin type things are um uh, are are under the water, but you can see their shape. You can see the shape of this thing. It's like an eel combined with um the Loch Ness monster. I am going That's to Gios it. Okay. Ooh. To carry out some service or refrain some sort of action. Okay. If the creature can understand you. Okay. God, so I, I hope it speaks fucking common. Um. <laughs> well, creature's charmed you by you. Okay. Okay, so it needs to make a save, I assume? Uh, yeah, so wisdom save. Wisdom save? What's your DC? Uh. Well, I. Boy. It's one of the high levels that I, uh... It doesn't matter. It rolled shit. You geos the creature. It can understand you. You now learn. I look at dead in the eyes and I say, cease movement. Okay. The creature looks up at you, feeling this magical energy penetrate it. And it looks up at you, and it freezes. And stares. Then... Uh, if it acts in a manner directly counter to my instructions, it takes 5d10 psychic damage. Okay. But it can choose to do then, so, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I would, you know, use... Oh, fuck, you took all the rope. Um, I would take my own rope off my pack and throw it down. Okay, down to... Them. Just down, okay, sure. So you move Well, to... no, I mean, like, I tie it to me first. Okay. Um... Using the same rules I gave six, it's going to be a real loose tie unless you use an action next time to okay. tie it better. But you, you got it, like, loosely tied around yourself. You throw it down uh, in the direction of six and Doran. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of hits the back of the creature. Okay, how long does the spell last? 30 days. Okay. <laughs> All righty, then. <laughs> Anything else for your turn, Mr. Gios? <laughs> well, hold on a second. Too well. Uh. Okay. Do you want this pillow? Yep. Uh, it lasts thirty days. If I use a seventh or eighth level slot, it lasts for a year. If I use a ninth level slot, it doesn't end. I don't like this. Wow. So uh, no, that is all I would like to do. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. That is uh, that is Alistair's jump card. Sure fucking is. Okay. Um, well done. Doran, you are in the water and fucking hurting. I, as a bonus action, oh. I'm going to use a... Wait. Did we skip Bess somehow? No, she oh, went Bess last. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm used to her being much f further up in the initiative. Go ahead. Starting with a bonus action, I'm going to use a level three spell slot to gain three sorcery points back. Because sorcerers are bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking sorcery points. Do you regenerate sorcery points on a short rest? No, long rest. Long rest. If you I'm used whole... quite a few of them last time, I used half you? of them, but I just got Damn. three back. All right. Because go I you. Just convert things. All right, go ahead. Um, then I'm going to just cast Shatter at the thing's skull. Not, being careful not to hit any of my friends. It's a 10-foot spear. 10-foot spear. It's big enough, and your friends are far back enough. You could easily do that. Okay. I just, you watch this arcane energy, and I'm stealing this from Isaac. 
travels down my hand into my fingers as I snap. Okay, and the snap booms across the this pond, th this large lake, whatever it might be, and echoes at the creature's head as it makes a constitution saving throw. What do we got? Um, your DC is 16. It fails, so it will take 21 thunder damage. All right. I'm assuming I have half movement, too, because I'm in water. Uh, yes. You have okay, half so movement, you have swimming speed. 20, 30. Okay, and as you move away, it's going to use its reaction to whip you again with its tail. Fuck me. And also take 5d10 psychic damage because of Gios, and it's directly going against the command. But it will roll to hit you, Dorian. It's going to hit me. It's going to be a 17. I can't stop it, so yeah, I'll take the damage. Okay. So that is going to be... How are you? I was being a little bitch. It's going to be 27 bludgeoning damage. And 3 lightning damage. So 30 oh. damage total. You That's were smacked. Roll a d4 Whoa. again. Oh no. <clears throat> okay. And it smacks you up against the rock here. You're not going to take any additional damage, but you just for flavor, you're slammed into the rock by its tail. Uh, actually, it would be because you move 5, 10. It's going to be actually here. Yes. Uh, six. The rope. All right, um, no, I'm sorry. No, I was saying six. No, it's not your turn. I was saying six, uh, mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15. Okay. The rope is quite slacked now. So I'm sorry. 30 how much feet did it slack. take from the 5D10? Uh, did you roll it? Oh, I thought you were rolling it. No, 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 that's your spell, buddy. You get to do the damage. My bad. Roll one. Don't know how, but he rolled one. He rolled two ones, <laughs> but that's still <clears throat> 23 psychic damage, and the creature roars out in anger. All right. And uh, that is the only time that I can damage it with the spell for today. Oof. Okay. Let's see, Doran, so you moved away. You still have your turn. I've used my bonus action, action, and movement. Alrighty, then Bess. <laughs> She's kicked off. What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck the dinosaur. No, not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Maybe next time. Um. So, Doran is in the water, correct? Oh, yeah. Only a little bit. As well as a fair bit of his blood. I'm fine. Cool. I love it. I'm beyond um, bloodied, but I'm fine. <laughs> Let me take a look here. I really want to do my signature control water, but let me see what level spell that is. 17. It's level a 17. fourth level spell. Can I cast it at fifth level if I don't have any fourth level spell slots left? Yeah. Cool. I would like to... You can always um, upcast. I would like to uh, hold the monster with the water, like restrain it with the water. Okay. Just like I did with the last Signature one. move. I, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a, what did I give the spider? A dex save for that? We got to like make a list of all these things you do and the rules so I can be, <laughs> so I can be uh, con consistent. Um, I think I gave it a dex save. So I'm going to give uh, this one a dex save as well. What's your DC? What's your spell DC? Uh, 16. It got a 15. So, it is... Let's see. This thing's much bigger. I'm gonna... Hard. Okay. No. Okay. Wait. You can see... <laughs> you can see the magic... The, the, the slight octarine uh, aura of magic surrounding this creature by Alistair's Gios start to mix into the water you are using to restrain it in place. It looks quite restrained. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I'm fine where I'm at. That's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Yeah. It is the creature's turn. Psych. At the start of its turn, it is going to look up where the magic is being cast at it. And Bess and Alistair, I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws as a cone of lightning is exhaled toward you.
Imagine being able to exhale lightning. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to think that uh, Gios looks oh, like how it does in the anime. Okay. Oh, best. Oh no! Because remember earlier when I was rolling all those dice and being like, "Hoo hoo!" -hoo. Here, oh. here it is. <laughs> Alright, so, that is, sorry I'm counting a lot, uh, so Bess, you take 57 lightning damage, <laughs> <laughs> Alistair, Ooh, I... diving out of the way, you take 26, I believe, no, uh, no, it would be, th what's, what's half of 57, it would be tw uh, 20, now, is that 27 because she Nat failed? It would be 28, I think. Or is that 57 because Nat failed? Or is that <laughs> full damage? 57 is full damage. You were taking half. Okay. Uh, 57 divided by 2. Sorry, I'm not mathing correctly right now. Um, yeah, is going to be major. rounded down to 28, yes. So, Alistair, 28 damage. Best, 57 lightning damage. Uh, I'm out. Oh, okay. Best oh, I don't have healing magic. is knocked <laughs> unconscious. Yay. But being completely restrained, that is the end of its turn. Well, Six. My, my spell is uh. Oh, no longer so. no longer being completely restrained. I'm gonna say mm. that that was its yeah. Its turn is still over because the spell is fading as you are knocked out and as it's used its action already. Um, Six at the start of your turn, you will yes. take another ten lightning damage. As, and... as its uh, electric energy continues flowing through you. And you hear a hearty, ah, from Bess up top. All right. Uh, that pisses me off. Um, <clears throat> I'm mad! <laughs> exactly. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It looks like I might be able to attempt to sort of whip out... And uh, and 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 whip the rope around the uh, the creature's neck. Would that be a possibility? <sighs> using uh, using uh, door in there as the anchor on the other side. You could sure try. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Okay. Um, so it you're you're me. trying to jump down, pulling the 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 rope around its neck, and try to whip it around its neck a bunch, and pull time. Uh, at, just at least one time. Okay. At least one, at good least time, one good... a, a couple times would be good. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Roll. I'm going to call okay. this an acrobatics check. Copy. Here we go. 18. Okay. With an 18, you take the rope tied to Doran, and you leap off of its back, falling into the water, splashing down. You get the rope. As you fall down, you get it uh, over its neck, and you, you swim back up quickly and toss it around again. And you toss it around a second time just in time for it to start shifting around enough that you're not able to get any more. You get two good Okay. You get two good uh, rings around its neck and you have the rope. Awesome. Alright. That's your action. And oh, uh, then I would attempt to let's see. I'm gonna say um, that was only five feet of your movement, over. really. I'm gonna swim over to uh, to right about there, which I'm almost already there type, okay type of so thing. swim a bit more uh, your movement is halved in with your swimming speed so that's 10 more feet okay uh and that's 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 what i will that's where i'll be okay alistair it is your turn and bess is knocked unconscious beside you lightning will... still kind of crackling off of her body uh well first of all you go oh fuck and then my spell book. Uh, I have to remember which level it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds at third level. Thank okay. you. So I'm gonna cast. It's gonna be three d eight, I think. Plus your modifier. Yeah. Right? So it'll be that plus two d eight. Okay. So eighteen. Thank you. All right, Bess, you are you <gasps> come back still kind of crackling with lighter, like your your skin is tingling, 
and Alistair has kneeled over you, <laughs> probably looking quite panicked. Yikes. You do notice one of his eyes is a blaringly orange. It has a very orange pupil from Gion's. <laughs> yeah, he probably looks quite freaky. <laughs> um, uh, you said badass wrong. You're right. Uh, so that's your action. <laughs> bonus action movement. Mm -hmm. um, can I use my bonus action to tie that knot around me? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll allow it. Okay. Because cure wounds, you're literally just kneeling down and casting the spell. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll allow cool. it. You secure And the then uh, I'm going to look down and go, uh, grab the fucking rope, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> grab the fucking rope, yeah? Okay. Doran. What are you doing? Uh-oh. As, as Jason disappears from his webcam. Hey, Blake. That was my bad. Yeah, Dad? There we go. You lighting a breadstick? Uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Doran, what are you doing? I am going to take my hand back. I'm gonna talk to Kristen something. I'm gonna point at its asshole and fire chaos bolt. Okay. And then I'm going to use my inspiration I've had to make sure I have advantage. Yeah, we'll do it. So 24, I'll roll another. I'll roll yeah, just to see. Two 24s. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good use of the inspiration. <laughs> hey, man, another. Use it. Okay, so a five. Tired of the party. Back to pull up the fucking table for this spell. Oh. You know what? Sure know what damage I'm doing. Unorthodox, but because you used inspiration and rolled the same thing twice and kind of wasted it, I'm going to allow you to pick whichever one you want from the from the table. Well. With the adrenaline I... pumping through Doran's veins as he's <laughs> on near, not, relatively near death and feeling inspired from previous events, I'll allow you to pick. Fucking force damage. All right. <laughs> so I just and now uh, we'll it. take that 18. Yeah, you blast its asshole. <laughs> and there's another. You can you can feel the rumbling in the water and you can hear the as it as it cries out. Uh, let's see. So then... I will use seven sorcery points to give oh. myself back a little five spell slot. Okay. Is that the last of your points? I can get more. I can convert spells. Into oh, points right. Into you can just spells. do that all over. I have the it. ability to min max the fuck out of this one. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> Doran, is that you? Would you like to move or? Uh, do I think? Okay. I'm going to look at where it and call out. Do you want me to tighten it? Please give me something. <laughs> What? Pointing at the rope. Okay, what did he say, though? I want to know if I should tighten it. I yell at six. What is that? Yes. I'm going to swim away. All right. You got, uh, I think you're, if you're moving 10, speed. 20, 30. Okay, so the <laughs> rope. This rope. And as you actually reach that point, the rope is taut. Like, exactly that point. <laughs> Then it will be my turn. All right. As the rope is tightened. Bess, what are you doing? I gotta shut my window. There's a fucking fire truck at Mach 5 approaching. Big L. Oh, no. Yeah, it's coming right at me. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my screen camera's uh, taking Bess, you are prone, so you do truck. need to use half your movement to get up. I would like to do that, please. Use okay. half my movement to get up. I'm um, sorry, I'm opening my spell book. You're good. I'd like to use a level three guiding bolt at the creature. Oh, wait, is six on it still? Or he is beside it. He is not on it. Okay. You can see you can see like the top third of his body bobbing in the water, pulling this rope around its neck. And I probably shouldn't electrify the water. Um. Did your friend ever come out of the I... bathroom? Yeah, he's taking a nap on the couch here. Okay, good. I was just worried about him. See? Yeah, <laughs> I was worried he's about fine. Him. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. I think we tired him out. Um, I'm Ooh. gonna um <laughs> use. I get it. You're an emergency vehicle. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna use 
control water again. Okay. I'm going to exhaust another spell slot. And what? W- uh, can I fortify the rope with that? Like, they're trying to strangle it, right? Can I control water to fortify the rope and strangle it more? Like, use the rope, or uh, use the water to pull on the rope more? Or, like... That's badass. I, I was thinking, like... She's yeah, a waterbender. Yeah. Okay, you're going to use the water. You're going to rush water to pull the rope tighter. Yeah. Okay. Like, as tight as I can. As much as I can. Roll 2d8 for me. Okay. Six, as you are down there pulling on the rope, and Doran, you're pulling on the rope, all of a sudden you feel your jobs get, like, a little bit easier as the rope is being pulled toward both of you, and you see a surge of water rise from underneath the creature and start spouting in, in, in d- both directions uh, from the creature's neck on each side of the rope, pulling at the rope with the water. And you hear the, the, the creature, as there's angrily roaring before, it goes, and it starts choking and takes ten damage. As it is ten being choked, damage. A ten choking damage as it is being completely choked by the rope now. Anything else, Beth? No, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, Sweet. on its turn, it is going to begin thrashing about. Well, mm, can it? Will it take? Mm, I guess it doesn't know. So, Gios doesn't literally force it, like, command to do what you said. It's just, if it doesn't, it'll be Big Hurdy. Forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action, as I decide. If the creature can understand me, succeed the wisdom saving throw, be charmed by me for the duration. While it's charmed by me, it takes 5d10 damage each time it acts in a manner directly counter to my instructions, but no more than once each day. Creature that can understand you. Yada, yada, yada. See that, but that insinuates to me that it can go against. Hmm, that's weird though. Yeah, I know it's interesting, but that's the legit description. So okay, okay, we'll take it. Um, I'm going to say then. It begins wiggling around, and then its little, its large beady eyes at the front of its body close tightly, as if just moving hurts it, and it stays completely still. It probably has one killer fucking headache. Um, I'm trying to... Question. You guys have locked down not only the creature, but the DM. I'm trying to figure out what else it can do, but... Uh... <laughs> um, I Surrender? Did that... Does Gios charm it? Yes. Like, give it the charmed condition. Uh, it become charmed by me for the duration. It shouldn't have been able to attack him then. Because it's charmed, it can't attack... Uh, it can't attack the charmer with any ability or magical effect. While it was under the effect. Right. But it also says it takes 5d10 psychic damage each time it acts in a manner directly counter, which says to me that it can. It can argue. I think it. I think what that. What, how I interpret this, and this is me, it can ar- It can go against his orders, but it can attack him. Because so it's, it's, considered... it's, it's technically under the charmed effect, is what you're yes. saying. And the charmed effect states it cannot attack who's charming it? According to roll 20, a charmed creature can attack the charmer. Or the target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. You have so rules lawyered your way into Alistair taking back his twenty-seven health. I will say the cone was oh, I'll aimed still at take it just for you know. No, flavor, no, no, but... no. He has a point. If it's if the oh, spell fine. is charming it, and the charm just magically gets and the charm condition means it can. This is this is just me <laughs> looking into the ability because I would like to know how it works. Too, I didn't myself. know how I didn't know the charmed effect did that. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, no, it would never. It would not have done it. It would have aimed it right at best then. Okay, yeah. Alistair, you can take your 27 health points back. That's uh, completely valid. I'm so uncomfortable. Currently, I'm playing in my underwear because my room's hot as fuck, and there's like there's kids scootering <laughs> on the street out there, and I'm like, I hope to God they cannot see my bare ass legs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, has, I, I interpret it. It can go against no, you're right. his words, but that's yeah. you're right. It, it, it still it wouldn't attack him because it's charmed, and if the charm, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with this. Yeah, you you are correct. So it never did that. It only hit best. Um, however. Uh, best. Does Does anybody <laughs> speak primordial? Uh, honestly, I have to look one second. I am looking, but I highly doubt it. Where do so, you see that? You would have uh, under background, known languages. Cool. I can speak quarry. Which one? No nope. primordial. Primordial. No, I do not. Nope. Nope. 
I speak infernal and undercommon. Nobody. Okay. Then all you guys hear as, as it, it begins uttering like guttural sounds that sound like they could be language or just it choking. Um, that's it. Six uh, is your turn. Uh, all right. Well, I am going to. So there's a there's a hysterium or whatever crystal chunk there next to me. Yep. Um, would it be possible to attempt to use a hunk of it as leverage? So basically, um, have the, the the piece of rope that's around around my my waist kind of loop it around it and just start backing off and pulling. Wait. So you want to tie? I, I, I just I just essentially want to use it as as a pulley. I just want to to you know pull on the other side of it so it gives me more leverage. I see. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Why not? I, I okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. That would be my. Uh, that would be my choice. Yeah. Um. I'll allow you to. Oh nope, that thing's too big. Um, we'll move you like back here, and you're pulling the rope quite tight. Would you roll for me four d eight? Okay. Four d eight. Okay. Not bad. 25, not bad at all. Okay. The, okay, the creature is choking. Um, Six, would you roll a d4 for me as well? Yes. For coolness points. Okay, okay thank you. Is that your turn? Um, yep, that's going to be my turn. All right, Alistair, it is your turn. I am going to, hearing what I think maybe sounds like an attempt at language, can I interpret that? Yeah, I said I said so. You, you, it is like, is kind of like, was that, that almost sounded like speech, what? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if you'd count it as a bonus action, it's a racial trait. I'm going to telepathically connect up with the, the beast. Yeah, sure. You can do as that. As long as it can understand one language, it can understand me, and I can understand it. Mm-hmm. I think. I'm, I'm just making sure. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Yes. Uh, I don't need to share a language with the creature to for it to understand, but the creature must be able to understand at least one language. Yep, yep. Cool. You can connect with it. All right. I'm going to say, hey, I'll shut the spell off if you leave us alone. Okay. In your head, you hear the reply. Go, go from here. Leave me. I can I reply. Uh, it was quick enough. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we're trying to not get hurt too bad. We'll leave you alone if you let us go. I promise. You all see the creature lift his head and look directly at Alistair and kind of narrow its beady eyes. I will even heal you a little bit, as much as I can. And the thrashing, or like the tensity, it was it wasn't thrashing because of the gios, but the the tension in its muscles begins to relax a little bit. Can I yell something out loud now? I'm gonna say no. Fuck. That's quite a bit of speech. Okay. Doran, as as the intensity of its of its uh. Wow, the word is completely escaping my brain. I'm sorry. Of, of it's thrashing, not thrashing. Muscles? No, 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 no. You're, you're doing the thing where when you you can't get a word in your head, but people put words in your head and then it gives you further away dildo. from that word. Yes. Yeah, the Man, intensity pop, of its friendly. dildo dies blue down. Blue cheese dressing. <laughs> the intensity of its blue cheese dressing dies down <laughs> at, the at the beginning of your turn. <laughs> Resistance! Resistance! That's the word! <laughs> Beginning of your turn, Dorn, what will you do? Um, struggle to stay afloat because no one taught Doran how to swim. Uh, <laughs> Doran looks like he's like having a really bad time. Um, I am going to, out of pure laziness, cast Maximilian's Earthen Grasp uh -huh. on the rope so I can let go. <laughs> Fucking wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like this a lot. Okay. An outcropping of rock forms. Here. I I, I don't want to. Ah, fuck it. I like this a lot, actually. Alistair just sitting there going, I fucking hate this guy. 
point. Do I have... How lazy do you have to be? An outcropping from the rock forms and grips onto the rope. And Doran lets go. I'd and like that rope is grows. there. It comes out open, and I very daintily hand the rope into it. It closes, and I lean against it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> very, very daintily just hand the rope over. And I go, wow. <laughs> you've got this sex. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Like like to, awful. I, I would love like it. I like to try to climb on top of the rope on top of it so i'm out of the water yeah you, you get out of the water and sit on the hand as it as the oh. as it grips tight on the rope <laughs> that, that is i love it i love it all right bess it is your turn are we still restraining the beast uh, it seems they are at the moment i will continue to restrain the beast um still being very very battered i'm gonna i'm gonna kneel down and try to hold my concentration and keeping the okay. beast Bound. I will give you partial cover then as you are like kneeling down and using the cliff face. Yeah. Okay. That's all I do. You kneel down. The creature's turn. It looks back to you, Alistair. Still using the, the, the connection. Release me and you shall pass. Uh, can I reply to that? I'll allow it. Uh, yes, I'll tell them when I'm next allowed to. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you say to the party. You, you can say something. let us go if we let him go. Okay, and with that, Six, it is your turn. All right. Hearing that, I immediately pull the uh, the release on my, on my knot. Okay. And I splash into the water. And the, and the, the, the rope splashes down onto the water, and, and the tautness of it releases a bit on this creature's neck, and now it's just being held it, it, kind of in place by this stone hand. And um, with, with that, I am actually going to take us out of initiative. Okay. Let's do this. I'm okay. going to, for those who need the warning, I'm switching rhythm. All right. And with no, that, I just hit the warning when you're turning it on. Yeah. The the creature feeling the rope release. You all kind of sit here in a tense moment watching it, hoping that Alistair wasn't bullshitting. That would be fucking hilarious. hilarious. Alistair, do you release the Gios? I do. Okay, you release the Gios, and you see its muscles relax a little bit. It rears its long neck around and looks at all of you, and then dives its face into the water and plummets below. And within a few moments... It very, very gracefully at that. Like, there are only a few ripples from this giant creature entering the water. And within a few moments, it is gone. Oh, I was going to heal it. Would you have allowed me to do that before it left or no? Uh, if you wanted to do, like, a, a healing word from range. Yeah, I was going to do a, a level 2 healing word. You can do that, yeah. Then I will. Oof. But it's a level two, so I add another D4. So seven HP. Okay. And as it goes, I, I go back into its head and I say, I apologize for the misunderstanding. Be you safe. Hear, you hear no reply. Understandable. We did kind of uh, beat the shit out of it. You almost bloodied it. Goodbye, beast. Don't touch your face. <laughs> <laughs> so, six, Doran, you are down by the water. Bess, uh, Alistair, I'm up top. To You're gonna what? I want to try to climb. Um, um, Alistair still has a rope, um, kind of dangling from the top of the cliff. Uh, I'll grab it. for it. Okay. I will say, just to make things easier, Doran, are you gonna go and try to use the rope to climb back up as well? No. I nope. have a way better option. Okay, six. I, I'll just for the sake of brevity, you you go to the rope. Uh -huh. I won't. Yeah, you you climb up with Alistair's help and reach the top. Yay! I would like to. How long? How far? Okay, this the middle platform. How tall is that? Uh, the wait, I'm sorry. Which one is the middle platform? This one, the one I oh, tried to walk uh, to. Oh, from from quote unquote sea level, pond, lake level. Um. Looks to be about 20 feet tall or so. Cool. Uh, so With various outcroppings lower. Okay. I am going to use... It's going to take me a little bit because that's an action time. I can move this thing up to 30 feet with an action. I'm sitting on its fingers. It's going to slide over to there and up the wall holding me. 
Awesome. Um, best, <laughs> as, as Doran begins to slide up, there's this like <laughs> sound as the stone is grinding against other stone and the hand is lifting him up to the top of this platform and he, he reaches the top. Best, what are you doing while um, that is happening and Six is being pulled up by Alistair? I'm going to give myself a third level Cure Wounds, which is a 3d8 plus 4. 3d8 plus 4. Magnificent. Cool. All right. So Bess heals herself. What is everyone doing? Oh, also, I'm how long is that hand? Back on my ass. You sit back and just kind of take a deep breath. Doran, how long does that spell last? How long is that hand? It'll last a minute. That's why I was checking to see how far. It's okay. Take me Twelve seconds to get up there. Okay. Yeah. So the hand will disappear relatively soon. Okay. Ham. The ham. Okay. As as uh, Doran kind of probably catches as everybody's catching their breath. What's going on? <laughs> Doran's sitting like a princess on a on a horse. Com he, yeah. <laughs> his his like clothes torn, off. completely bruised up everywhere, sitting like a princess on a stone hand. Cleaning himself off from of presentation station <laughs> yeah. as he moves. Just, as he, and then he's got like one I, leg. I have a question. Yeah. For for Doran, because of can you you can alter your appearance. Can you make it seem as though you don't you aren't bruised everywhere? Can you just like yeah. change the skin? I don't look hurt. If I don't want to, huh. I can That's also look so hurt. broken. No, because I still take damage. Yeah, but he's no, still he's like, still more than bloodied. He just doesn't look it. You can get the shit beat out of you, and then they can turn their back and be like, "Hey, didn't we just beat the shit out of you?" I have multiple cons in my blue book, play, my little playbook of that. Fuck. But That's as I'm like, as the, as the hand comes up, I'm gonna like left leg over my right leg, turn and like daintily step off and brush myself off as the yeah. hand I, I blow it a kiss as it vanishes yeah, yeah he <laughs> blows it a kiss and it and it, and it sinks back into the stone doran theoretically uh, could you make yourself appear that uh, your head's been i don't know blown off and you no. you're walking around like you're trying to no, no. okay I, have to have all the I can't remove or add extra body parts Makes sense. All I right. could do this. I like my eyes like bleeding heavily. My <laughs> ears torn. I'm missing half of my bottom lip. And my teeth are showing. That's how he actually crack. looks right now. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I, know, I can do. I can do this, and then I turn it back and spit blood onto the ground because I can't fix my internal bleeding. <laughs> I'm actually bruised. I can just not look it. So like as I smile, there's blood seeping into my teeth. <laughs> I have Incredible. a. Thumb. My thumbs up and it's a little bent in a wrong oh. way. I can't. I can't I, <laughs> you watch me go, huh? And I snap it back into place, like. Because <laughs> 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 I sit down. I, I gotta say, I have to yell because I'm pretty far apart. I'm gonna take partial blame for that. Uh, how about entire blame? Let's meet in the middle and agree on partial no, blame. No, 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 Doran. That was fucking stupid, Doran. <laughs> In any case, it was bound to happen. So well, let's move on. I guess. I, I, I don't. It wasn't. I mean, <laughs> I think it's a given based on who we travel with. So, it, it, I, Doran. Yes. <laughs> it's who we travel with. And you. <laughs> and six. And who jumped in the water, motherfucker? I didn't jump in the water. I fell. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a fucking newborn child. And Alistair's gonna start hey. ignoring Doran. <laughs> hey, Alistair. Alistair, you know what it would have uh, really helped in this situation? A giant metal spider! I <laughs> if you could have gotten that thing running, I would have taken it! And also, what if there had been an uh, invisible bridge? Then we would be laughing right now. You! But there wasn't! Are you sure about that? If you jump in the water again, I will message the creature to come back up and continue to beat the job. To, Bess to is gonna lay down on the rock and just lay down and be exhausted. I bet you. Uh, I bet you 30 gold I could walk towards you right now and, just, and there would be something to catch me. I also think you have a spell for that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do that so we can get to that portal? Or are you gonna sit over there and pout? I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want to do, Doran, and whatever I fucking want to do is not jumping into the goddamn river of unknown. 
I, you won't. I will make a bridge. Because how else are we getting over there? I you really wish I had a, a, a faithful leap in my... Or whatever the fuck the spell is, leap. Leap or jump. How do you guys plan on getting over there without my help? Hey, Holden, how tall is the uh, is the, the rock surface? The the platform he's on? Uh, bo both of us. Okay, so you're standing on a platform that is about 15 feet up from the water level. He's standing on one that's okay. roughly 20, and it's um, a little less than a 20-foot jump. Horizontal. Uh, I, I, I go um, like this, and uh, I run straight down across the water, straight up the wall, and uh, appear... Roughly, roughly here. Wait, you're running down the wall, across the water, and up the thing. Yep, all and how of my normal rate of movement. And how can you do that? It, it's just something that I can do. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, can't movement. bards just, like, fucking run on walls? Right, but, like, what's, what's the ability? Like, what allows you to do this? Um, let me pull it up here for you. Cause that seems a bit broken, and you know what? If it is, that's it's fine. So I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that that's correct. It's called unarmored movement improvement. It's a uh, player's handbook, page seventy-eight. Okay. You can move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling during the move. <laughs> oh, hold on. Fuck that's you, literally what he's using it for. I fucking love it. Unarmored. Hold on. Sorry, I just want to read this myself. You could totally be right. I just, I just wanna. Um, on our movement. That's how I ran up the vertical wall. Vertical surfaces and cross liquids on your turn without falling during the move. Without falling. So you can... You can move along vertical surfaces. That doesn't say you can run up 20 feet. I mean, I guess... Uh, that's... Huh. <sighs> that's... Can't... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Uh... That's the. Uh, that's how I ran up the church yeah, wall that during is how a, you did that. a thing. Unarmored movement. Hold on. Okay, from what I'm reading. It basically okay. says. Yeah, it yeah. Okay, it takes it. It seems as though it takes an action. To not, mm -hmm. but you can do it. Okay, fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fuck me. So so six just just runs down. So I imagine he does like you know a half run, and then as he starts to fall, he does a cool slide onto the water, jumps off of one side, and runs across the water like uh, the eight feet or ten feet or so, and then runs up the wall and and make an acrobatics check for me. Sure. Crabbitics, right there. And with an 11. Okay, so because all these surfaces are wet, he's, like, kind of slipping as he does so, and he, like, just makes barely makes it up to the other end, and he, his foot, as he's running up, he, like, he has a good amount of speed running up the second ledge. And then as he's reaching the top, his foot slips a little bit, and he catches the top with one hand and pulls himself up. He does it. Okay. So everyone else can do that, too? Or should I just make a bridge? We should probably do the bridge thing. Okay. I kind of look over at Alistair here. Yes. Only because I care about you guys and don't want to see you fall. I am Thank going you, to start doing all my mumbo jumbo and make my giant bridge to the all, all the way to the portal. Okay. Gonna... So you're using sorcery points to get. I already, you, I already, I already had my. I remember. I, oh, uh, you did that earlier and never used it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, you got I, another I, wall of force. I've been planning for this. Okay. You got I want, another I wall of force. And I'm gonna, uh, six. Um, I'm gonna walk onto it. Six. Stand here so they know where it is. Okay. And I will stand on the other part of it so they know where the other. Yep. So, so basically, where they can see where the invisible pathway is. Uh, yeah. I kick some sand on it like Indiana Jones. Sure. Um, so as the as the bridge is complete and shown, Doran, as you move to the other end, you hear you hear that in, in the water below you. And as you look down, oh. the this creature emerges from the water and lifts its tall head, and its head reaches like right up next to you. 
and and just kind of looks at you and uh, looks looks across to your companions walking across nothing and it looks back at you lowers its head a little bit in your direction I nod at it it narrows its eyes at you and it dips back under the water be quick be quick be quick <laughs> And, and and as you as you as you start shouting out, be quick, be quick, be quick! It it uh, as it's going down, it looks back up at you and says, "In common, be quick." <laughs> I start waving my arm. <laughs> yeah, go 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 go! <laughs> Alistair would like to take his sweet fucking time. <laughs> step, step, Kane. Step, step. Does Kane. a little does a little dance. <laughs> I will stop the spell. I have a feeling Please that don't. I might be the only one who would survive another bot with that thing. By yourself? It's possible. Mm. Uh, possibly. Who else? Who else talked to it and then healed it and then got every? Oh, it was me. Yeah, yeah. it was you. You did heal it. I could have let it keep going. You could have, and then it would have died. Mm-hmm. But you might have also, which might be a trade-off I'm willing to take next time. <laughs> Bess looks to the camera like she's in the office. <laughs> <laughs> just like, 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 not, not a frown, but just that kind of straight face emoji, just... Lauren <sighs> <laughs> looks a little bit at Alistair and then just starts laughing. I really like you. And I'm gonna move towards the portal. Okay. Are, are these mushrooms really as big as me? Yes. Are there any smaller ones? Yes. Um, I'm gonna put some in my pocket. You're gonna take some of the smaller purple mushrooms? Yes. Okay. Um, as you start grabbing them with your with your bare hands, they kind of sting. Okay. I will keep that in mind. In the same way that in hysterium mind. stings. Interesting. You can uh, add to your inventory a handful of hysterium mushrooms. Hysterium. I typed stingy hysteria mushrooms. I hope that's kosher. That totally is kosher. Right. Okay. You guys uh, all ah, reconvene at the next portal, which is does seem to be activated with a gold portal. Okay. I believe they're called stingy owie oofies. Ah. I make that correction. Um, Alistair? Through the portal? What else would we do? Once more, unto the breach. I don't even stop here. I'm just going to walk right through it. Okay. You walk into it, and it's as if you just walked through a, a curtain of light, and you just step through to the other side. And nothing happens. You're still there. <laughs> um. Seeing this, the creature raises its head above the rock once more and says in common, a favor for a favor. And opens its mouth wide, and you see a, uh, electricity start to form in its mouth. I move to the side very quickly. <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> you all powers. move to the side, and a bolt of lightning streaks across you guys and hits the portal. And with this electric blue energy, it, it the, the portal brightens in this gold fashion, and the creature lowers back into the water once more. Bye, uh, long neck. Before it goes, I would like to ask, do you have a name? It says nothing. Okay. And dives back into the Well, whoever you are, thank you very much. Sorry, we almost killed you as I walk through the portal. Okay. Thanks, Nessie. You all step through? Thanks, yeah. Nessie. Okay. I need all of you to make dexterity sit. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Shoot. as you step through... <laughs> as you step through... Woo. No. <laughs> what you see before you is immediately... Cobbled floors, wooden walls, dust, and spider webs everywhere. It's an abandoned mine shaft. It's my coochie. And bookshelves, oh, and parchments, and books riddled on the floor. Oh, it's an abandoned mine shaft. Can't for the spider. And oddly enough, lit candles everywhere. Are they and magically what lit? And what appears to be windows with light shining through them into the room. As you look back, you see familiar steps as if uh, from from the portals from the second room 
But as you all step through and look back, there is no portal there anymore. And I will bring you to the room now. Wow. I think we found the library. What was your first clue? clue? Um, the books. Ah. Mine was that sign that said library. And I point at the wall. I don't have my card with me. Does anybody else have an account? <laughs> I hate you so much. Um, I'm gonna go... Oh, does it look like anybody's in there? I mean, there's lit candles. There are lit candles all over. And lights shining through windows. Can These I go to lit. this window and, and look out of it? When you move up to the window and look out, it is there is no scenery, only light. Weird. Maybe nobody's home. You hear nothing in here. Except for a very faint whirring. Just a faint... You know, I'm beginning to like hate... I don't think I could do one of those right now, bye guy. One of what? I don't know if I could fight one of those. I'm not doing the best, honestly. Um, I don't know you can't uh -huh. tell, but um, I'm, I think I'm bleeding internally. <laughs> <laughs> Very mm, profusely, mm. If, I, if I'm being honest. Best finger guns and says, same. Same. <laughs> same. <laughs> um, as much as I want to just rip a book off one of these shelves to see what's going to happen, <laughs> it might be in our best interest to not. Oh, oh Alex wants to do one so fucking on... bad. Is there a book what? Are, are there books on the floor? Is oh yeah, books on the floor, parchment on the floor, books on shelves. It, it, it's a mess. I want to pick a book up off the. Off we the hear something. Okay. Click. You you pick a random book off of the floor. Um, roll a d100 for me. This is a purple section. The purple section. Okay. These are books all about the color purple. Okay. <laughs> Um, you pick a random book up off of the floor, and uh, the title reads, Tellurian's The Mastery of Puppets. Mastery of what? Mastery of Puppets. I read puppets? it out loud for everyone. I'd Dora, also like to sounds like your kind of book. Hey. Alistair, you would also like to what? Grab a book while she's reading it, just a curiosity. Okay, you're just going to pick another one off the floor, or...? Sure. Why don't you uh, roll a d100? You know what? No, I'm going to grab it off the fucking shelf. Sure. Roll a d100. Hey, hold him while he's doing that. I pick up 98 other books. <laughs> <laughs> 98 times. To see okay. How many book you get. This one is called Lilander's Entropia. Let me look up what that means. <laughs> I look for a dictionary. <laughs> I still, that did not help. I don't know what that is. It's a book about I, uh, uh, death and entropic magic. Ah, seeing that, I put it down and pick up a different like one. Entropy. Okay. No. Death and I, uh, so, magic. I keep that one. And then I grab another one. I, I put that away for later. Okay. So you, you, you uh, now have in your inventory Lilander's Entropia. And I will actually put that in the chat for you. Okay. Um, so while Bess and Alistair just kind of start picking up books and looking at them, Doran, Six, what are you guys doing? Uh, do there appear to be, um, like, section headings or, or uh, anything like that above the shelves so we can kind of tell what's where? Or uh, are they all alphabetical or something? Um, the Dewey Decimal System. There. The Dewey Decimal System. Make an investigation check. Yes. Claire, you know how I feel about the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> Why do you think I said it, Blake? There were no world wars prior to the Dewey Decimal System. Therefore, <laughs> the Dewey Decimal System called all, caused all world wars. Looking around, <laughs> you, you kind of you check the, the the headboard, you check the top, the sides, you like even move some books. Looking, there are no discernible ways of organization in here that you can find, at least within the first few bookshelves. Ah, so it looks like it's up to a D hundred to figure like out. Like looking up at the at the ceiling or anything. There's no nothing like no. cookbooks. There's nothing okay. immediately 
obvious. And there's nothing immediately to tell you, no. Okay. Uh, well, I think uh, a good search of maybe these shelves might uh, help us find something interesting, but maybe we should explore the rest of the, uh, the library itself here first. We've got uh, what looks like a librarian's desk over here. we got a purple room. Mm -hmm. and... The doors are open, so you can see this. Cool. I mean, you shouldn't be able to see the purple room. I forgot to hide that, but you'd find it soon anyway, oh, okay. so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so while – are the rest of you are... kind of – Yeah, uh, Six starts wandering elsewhere. Are you all going to follow? Yeah. Uh, I am going to cast Find Traps and look around me to see if there's anything that, like, pops out to me as, please don't touch me. I don't know where they are, but I know if there's a trap in that area. Okay. Uh, range 120 feet. Let me just check something. Does this? You're quite confident you can cover the entire library when you stand in the center. And when you do so, do you just kind of move over here and just kind of focus, look around for any arcane signs? You don't detect any traps. There's no traps. And I wipe all the table, the books in off this, and I snuff the candle with trusted hesitation, and then I lay on the table and groan. When you try to snuff the candle, it does not snuff with trusted trust hesitation. Does not. I put my finger go... It doesn't burn, and it doesn't go out. I pick it up and put it on the ground. It is a lit candle on the ground now. Cool. I what lay on the, the table. Do you gain from any of this? Okay, Doran. I'm in so much pain. Let me relax. While Doran announces to you guys that there are no traps, and the rest of you move forward to continue exploring, yep, you, you <laughs> step through uh, a double doorway into what seems to be some sort of office. And you can hear that whirring to your right. And looking over, you can see this purple glow emanating underneath the closed door. Um, all right. That, that's suspicious. Open the door! Uh, you heard her, Doran. Doran's 50, like 50 feet away oh, lying on a table. Ah, uh, so much pain. I think my ribs are broken. Um, are there any more of those candles in here? Yeah, there are candles. There's a candelabra on the big desk that Doran has now sat at. I would or like not to Doran, Alice there. Me. I'd like to remove some of those candles and put them in the bag of holding. Okay. You, you, you take the candles, uh, having seen Doran not be affected by them, the lit candles. And yes, you, I would put make them... sure I would like touch them to make sure they're not actually hot before I just dump them in the bag. Okay. You have three magically lit candles that do not burn and cannot be snuffed. Alright. Uh, what was that about a door, Bess? <laughs> open the door! Oh, um... I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go ahead and open the... Maybe walk over to the door, take a look at it there. Open the gate. Stop okay. having it be As closed. You, you, being cautious, you kind of move over and you just kind of... Open, just, just grab the handle and crack it open a little bit. And, this, and now the scene before you unfold. You can see what appears to be some sort of podium with an open book in it and swirling purple arcane energy amassing around it and flowing around it. Um, I and close the door. Yep. And, and the whirring sound is definitely coming from this room. And you close the door. Okay. Um, uh, um, I, think, I think this room's taken... <laughs> I hate you so much, Jason. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was moving rooms because Noah's dead asleep and I didn't want to bother him. The description of the room, there was the uh, an open book. Yeah, there's an open book on a... You can yeah. peek through as Six is looking through. There's an open book on a podium. Um, and, and just kind of glancing, you can definitely tell, oh, there's arcane runes and that shit. Uh, and you can see uh, these these faintly purple swirling masses of arcane energy surrounding the open podium and underneath the podium actually a detail i forgot to mention is one large circle with runes among it and then six closes the door and says this room's taken <laughs> what will you guys do is it is the is the purple kind of remnant of hysteria i mean in the in that it is purple but it is not the same purple Okay. Thanks, Olin. Um. All right. Uh, at this point, <laughs> I would like to search search the uh, like librarian's desk or whatever here and see if there's anything. Alistair's sitting there. 
And uh, he goes, are you rummaging through my desk? <laughs> that was the plan. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything any... interesting keys or uh, anything are like there any that? Books on the desk? Yeah. Yeah, there are, there are books I and scattered feast papers. My eyes on them. Tell you what, um either six or Alistair, roll an investigation check with advantage as both of you are kind of combing through it together. Oh, I'm just looking for books specifically. Just specifically for books. Yes. Um I would like for you to decide who's doing it with advantage anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. Success I'll, I'll decided. Let... Oh. Okay. With Sorry. an eleven. Um. Well. I... As six is kind of combing through, um, and, and you're looking for just just for books, but in in that you guys are kind of looking at at the same time together. Um, you do find, uh, with an eleven, a couple of books. One of them labeled, um, student records. Another labeled staff records. And then you'll find, actually, one more... It's a book, but it appears to be more of a, a journal. It, is, it doesn't appear to... It is this, like, very fine, leather-bound journal um, with loose parchments in it. Um, that when you, when, and when you open it up, it is just filled with arcane runes. It, it is in, in codes, and it, you're not quite sure at a glance what the fuck is going on with this thing, but there's nothing immediately discernible about it. All right. Um... Doran, uh, I have a, a a book you might want want to look at, and you know, it's got runes well, and shit. It bag, it's fine. While they're preoccupied with the book, can Bess sneakily go into the room with the book? Would you like to do uh, so yes. in such a way that they Best don't notice? Does die. Yeah. Make sneaky. a stealth check. And um, Alistair and Six, could you check your passive perceptions for me, quick? Passive perception. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> There's no way either of you has a passive perception of 26. <laughs> oh, no? I mean, I guess there, it, it's possible. Mine's but I, 19. Nice. Good, but not good enough. Let's see. Uh, passive... Be yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Bess, you kind of, as they're kind of preoccupied looking at these things, you quick, you quietly kind of skulk around into the shadows and move, and just barely open the door enough for you to move through and quietly shut it behind you, and you are in the room. Nobody knows. Cool. Um, if you want to come back to me after their book set, that's fine. I don't want to. I actually, I was about to like specifically come to you because we hadn't come back to you for oh. a minute. What are you doing in there? Oh, okay. Um. Birthday, birthday. I want to investigate the purple, the purple, you said purple masses are? Yeah. Fl like, flying around? Yeah, and... this arcane energy, you can actually feel it like a, like a, eh, like a light breeze whipping against your ankles as it passes around you. It's kind of enchanting. Can I investigate the books in the room? Not, not this open one, but like the rest of the papers and the books on the floor around it? Yeah, make an investigation check, and while she's doing that... Um, what is everyone else doing? You guys were calling for Doran to come look at this book? I was, yes. Doran, what is your response? What do you mean? What, look at the book. What am I going to do with it? It's got oh, runes and shit. Yeah. I'm no wizard. Oh, I put it in my bag. I groan as I sit up and very slowly move in there as Doran is looking real bad. Like, um, as he walks towards Six, for a second as you look towards him, you see the bottom left of his chin go white, and then right back to its normal skin tone. <laughs> As he kind of moves very slowly in there. Would you would you like to would you like to rest in here? I was see, resting see, on see, the, the, the the table. Yeah. Um. Level four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six. Um, would you mark so your you inventory? So restored twenty-two health. 22. I right. was at one-fourth of my health. Uh, six, if you would mark that book in your inventory as um, leather-bound arcane uh, codes book. Leather. Got it. Perfect. I just want to make sure we have the same thing. Okay. Um, that is healed. Bess, with an investigation of 10, you start looking around and, and, and kind of rifling through quietly what's in here. You don't find anything interesting other than what appears to be, um, some, purple. some, lots of purple, and, um, 
a lot of these books and, and parchments seem to have locations written down on them. But some of them get rather specific. Like, um, upstairs tavern, uh, up, upstairs of tavern in this sector of this city. Like, they get rather specific. But they don't say anything. Just the locations. That's all you find. Can I cautiously investigate the book from here? From there, it's going to be a perception check, and there's... You can try. I think curiosity would get the best of her. She'd probably go right in front of it to see what's going on with that. Okay. I'll actually, while you're investigating this, I'll have you make an arcana check. Uh, and back to the three of you. Thank you. Um, I spit another little bit of blood on the floor and immediately clean it with prestidigitation. Uh, feeling better then. Yeah. Um, you didn't see anything. As I open the nearest book to me, I just pick a book up and open it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Actually, let me see the book you wanted me to look at. I might have something. Oh, I put it in my bag. Oh, oh I get it out. I kind of look at it like, why? Is it... Okay, and then take it out? All right, I hand it over. I would like to thumb through the book of things. He okay. Me. Uh, are you are you trying to discern what these are, or are you just kind of looking at it? A little bit of both. Okay. Uh, make make an Arcana check then. And uh, best with an Ar Arcana check of four. <laughs> you look over the book, <laughs> and you definitely recognize these as arcane runes, but you can't quite discern what they're for or what you're looking at, to be honest. But you can tell this is probably something rather powerful based on the number of runes and the the size and shape of the rune. All you can discern is that this is probably something powerful, but you've never really seen anything like it. And it is arcane. That's that's what you got with a four. Doran, as you're thumbing, thumbing through the book with a 13. Let's see here. You can tell that these are arcane codes of some sort. Like, as you're looking through, you, you, you kind of notice that they're, they're like strings of text. It's not like normal words or like a normal um, style of writing. It's, it's like there are a, a whole bunch of numbered codes. Um, and they seem sort of random. They're certainly not spells. They're not instructions. But they're, they, they, they must, so they must be codes or passwords of some sort. That's the best you can get from thumbing through it with a 13. This is a book of codes? It seems like numbers. And it, it's not a spells. It's arcane, of course, but it's not like spells. It seems like codes. Um, I think Bess had better look at it. Okay. Wait, Thank you. Bess, <laughs> oh, Bess you hear this by... while you're in the other room? <laughs> uh, she didn't come by me while I was laying on the table. I would have noticed. So, one of you must have lost her. Oh well. I'm sure she can handle it. I walk out and I go get another another book. Sure. Bess? Uh, Bess is gonna touch the book. You touch it. I'm gonna poke it with one finger on the leftmost page. As you poke the book, nobody knowing you're in this room, nothing happens. Night. Thanks, Oldham. Can I close the book? Sure. Can I pick the book up off of its pedestal? No. Is it stuck? It appears to be stuck. You can close it, but you cannot pick it up. Can I rolled I, like, for whatever book I grabbed. Tilt the, the pedestal so the book slides off of it? No, you cannot tilt the pedestal. It's stuck. It, it This is locked in place. Hmm. I am going to try to sneakily sneak out of the room without anybody noticing. <laughs> I'm sitting there berating things. How could you lose her? Okay, let's see, let's, let's, have a, let's have a, 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 a st another stealth check from you. <laughs> uh... 
Okay. I assume Dude. neither Six or 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 Doran have a passive perception of twenty two or higher. No. Real fast. I I was actively looking for her at literally that moment. Is that, uh, <laughs> I'll allow you a perception check. Yeah, make a perception right. check. Thanks. See if you can beat her stealth. I would also Sweet. be looking at this moment from where I am. Like I'm not moving from the like the entrance of this place. Like about here probably. I'm not moving. Okay, you guys were literally just talking about this, so I will allow you a separate Shit. roll, Doran. <laughs> Okay, Damn. okay, despite you guys literally looking around for her, <laughs> Bess just sort of appears here. <laughs> Bess, when you walk in, I have, I've picked the cushion off of the chair going, she's not in here. Yeah, as you, just like she waits, she creaks open the door just a little bit and kind of peers through and sees you guys like looking around. And the moment neither of you are looking in that direction, she just silently bolts out and, and quietly shuts the door behind her and just kind of stands next to you guys. I'm going to pretend to be looking behind each of them. <laughs> wow, yeah, where could she have gone? Oh, I have a six lost you. Six? <laughs> six. Um, hey, you should look at this book. <laughs> what book? Uh, the one in my hand here I'm holding out to you. What's in that uh, room? I'm gonna walk past her. Hands. Okay, Bess, <laughs> you, you can also make an arcana check. What's in that room as I walk past her and towards that door? Okay. Oh, there's a book Purple. and it's stuck. A stuck, stuck book. Oh, cool. I open the door and I want to walk in there. Okay, you can walk what in there. What am I doing, Arcana? Make an Arcana check while you're doing that. Oh, oh boy, Alistair. Are you going to like the book you picked up? It is called good, good Shilbins, the, perver uh, uh, the per Perversions. Sorry, the, the text on my screen is funky. Let me copy and paste it over here and change the font for my sake. Does that say perversions? It does say. Uh, Shilbins, the perversions of the mind. And you... And there, there it is. I'll put it in the chat if you want to mark it. Um, Are they nipples on the cover? No. <laughs> and you, you look at the title and you're like, oh, what is that? You open it up and you can immediately... You can, you can kind of just glancing through it. This is a book about psionic spells. Alistair takes the first book and puts it where he found this one. And he goes, ho, 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 ho. So you can take Shilbins, the perversions of the mind. Right, and best, best, best takes the book from you six, looks at it, kind of flips through it quick. Best, you have no fucking clue what this is. It's a bunch of arcane runes. You no, know, I'd say that here we have a bunch of arcane runes. Say confidently. Okay, um, great. All right, we'll come back to this. <laughs> I'll put it in my bag. Oh, I can hold. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm just keep going. I'm, I'm just, I'm You're picking just up books. Looking around. Okay. I would like to open the book that is closed. To the can first I follow page. him in there? What the? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you step into the room as Doran. You, you tell Six. Uh, yep. Runes. Um, you hand it back to him, and you, you walk into the room where Doran is opening up the book to the first page. I'm reading. Okay. Are you trying to discern? Uh, is it? common what it, is in the book <laughs> lots of arcane runes again i'm going to thumb through it and see if i can find any type of words okay you're looking specifically for like common words common um give me a sec common elvish or orcish Okay, so Six joins you guys. You're, okay, you're looking for those languages. Alistair just grabs a stack of books, moves back to the comfy chair behind the desk, and just starts invest, just looking at what he's got. Um, uh, I put the first book in my little bag of holding. The first book? Or the, the uh, perversions? The, uh, perversions, uh, perversions of the perversions mind. Perversions of the mind. Okay, you're just going to take five other books and start looking through them. Cool, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, <laughs> I should have assumed that when I said, yeah, roll D100 to see what kind of books you guys get. You guys are just going to keep rolling until you found something you like, naturally. I guess that's fine. Um... <laughs> Let's see. I can't hear you over the sound of me eating a chicken parm. Fair enough. Um, as you, it's gonna, parm. you're just kind of flitting through as, you know, as quickly as you feel comfortable looking for language. After a few minutes, you're not finding any words. Cool. Cool. Flip it back to the first page. And now I'm going to start. I'm going to uh, pull out. A, is there any blank parchment on the ground? Any blank? I'm sorry. What? Is there a parchment with anything on it? There's oh, like nothing on it. Like uh, completely blank piece of parchment. 
looking around, you don't see any on the ground, but you, you can spot a shelf that specifically it just has a whole bunch of blank uh, parchment stacked in it, yeah. Cool, I'll grab some, come back over, and start copying down the runes. Okay. Um, this book is probably about 100 pages long, so it'll take you quite some time. I'm just I'm copying from page one and just seeing what happens. Okay, you just start copying the runes down. Nothing immediately happens. Um, what are Bess and Six doing as he's kind of th th thumbing through this? Um, Six is going to kind of keep an eye, just uh, just watching, but it looks like there might be some interesting stuff maybe over there-ish. So he'll kind of look on the shelves while giving uh, uh, Doran a wide berth there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bess? I want to investigate the pedestal it's on and possibly see if I can figure out why the book is stuck. Okay. Um, Six and Bess both make investigations. Actually, Bess make another arcana. Um, as for Alistair, let's go through this quick. Um, the first book you find um, is A Rare Light by McFelinda. And it's a book about <laughs> light spells. I hate that name. Uh, so it's I was book. muted, my bad. Uh... He goes lame. He lame. Goes okay. Um, and then the next one you look through is um, uh, Portando El Fine. Um, and it seems it doesn't actually have an author cited. It is by Anonymous, and it is a book about death magic. The end times. I'm sorry, a book about what? Death magic. Noted. Do you want to keep that one? Yes. Okay. I will give you the title in chat so you can mark it down in your inventory. There's that one. Um, and then 91. That one is. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I am not going to attempt to try to pronounce this one. Maybe I should because it would be funny, but I'm just going to put it in chat for you guys to read. That's the title of the next one. Uh, Zwibils, Schweischmenschen, and Vulkanfräulein. You mean Zwibils, Schweischmenschen, and Vulkanfräulein? I just took a lot of German. <laughs> um, it is, I don't take no German from nobody. It is a book about uh, polymorphication and specific uses in defense. Uh, uh, specific defensive uses of polymorph. Lame. Lame. All right, toss that one to the side. How to turn a chicken into a wall. This one <laughs> is, uh, the next one is called Mysteries of True Form. And um, it, it seems to be like a shorter book, almost pamphlet size, um, on the regular material solids and, and, and massive objects in the world and how they connect to higher planes. Hi, Chris. Oh, Chris Intriguing. I would take that one. I wouldn't put it in my bag, but I'd keep it out for me to read. Okay. I will just put that there for you. Um, and the last one here um, was 91 again. So. Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reroll that one then. Okay. That Can I just pick be... a number? No. Randomly? Yep. No. 23. <laughs> okay. Um, this one. Oh my god, this is... Okay, it's called Ulrich's Monographia Insomniae. A book on nightmare magic. <laughs> uh, hmm. Not a big fan of that one due to uh, racial reasons. All right. So you've picked a two and a half that you like quite a lot. And as you're kind of going through and discerning what all these are, um, let's see, so we'll go back. Bess, you with an Arcana check were investigating the podium and the book and why the fuck they are stuck together and won't move um, as Doran is just copying runes uh, as best he can. Um, checking the podium, it, it is hard to try to discern what is actually going on with all of this other magic floating around. You can for sure say that there is no, just investigating, there's no rivets, there's nothing like bolting the book down, there's nothing like bolting the podium down. It is held there by some sort of magical means. Um, what sort of magical means? You honestly can't tell. But you can't think of any spells off the top of your head that would do this specifically. I'll give mm. you that much. Uh, six, as you move across the room to investigate um, the other area, which which seems to have interesting stuff, uh, you do find 
what appears to be like a small humanoid skull and um, some red powder and some green powder. It just it's what, what appears to be maybe arcane ingredients based on what you've seen before, uh, like alchemical and arcane ingredients. Are these powders uh, contained within a thing or just sort of sprinkled about? Oh, they're in wooden bowls. Oh, is there <laughs> any saran wrap? Sure isn't. Nice. Um, any any little jars or anything that I, I might be able to put some of these powders into? Um, <laughs> not immediately in the vicinity. Okay. All right. Uh, um, I don't think I want a skull. Um, the one I have is working out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it, it, yeah, as you guys are investigating and doing your thing, Doran, you you guys about ten minutes later, you've been going through. Doran, you've been like copying down runes, and you're fairly certain you're you're doing this quite well. You 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 have quite a bit of uh, experience a, in forgery. Is there a moment where neither of them are looking at me? Like I want to check. Probably. I'm gonna try to rip a page, not out, but rip it out of the book. Yes, slightly on the seam. Okay. If I could take yeah, it Yeah, as you're just kind of copying, you, you do this little move where you, like, put your hand up to kind of, like, yep, this room, this room, like that. After about ten minutes, nothing's happening, but you're, you've are you copied down you, uh, a, a couple pages. And out of curiosity, you just kind of bring your hand up and try to tear. And it is incredibly sturdy, and the, the page does not rip. Huh. Hey, hey Bess? Yeah? Strange question. No real reason. Do you think I could try to burn one of the pages just to see what happens? Sorry. Sadie just tried to kill me. Um. Murder Good cat. cat. <laughs> no. Uh, no. I don't rip. would not. They don't rip? The book doesn't move as I go to move it. Yeah, I know. Uh, I just saw that. It's stuck with uh, magic. The um, move. I just want to see. I want to see if I can... Damn. Actually, I'm going to take my quill and I'm going to draw a line to one of the pages. Okay, you take your quill and put it to the page, and as soon as you start moving it, you notice doesn't ink doesn't take. And actually, the ink, like on, I, I assume you have ink. I, actually, I know you have ink with your with your kit. Um, you you, you kind of dip it in some ink, and you notice it it the ink runs down the page like water on plastic. It doesn't take to the this. page at all. You go, what's plastic? I... <laughs> <laughs> I I just want to see. I pull out my dagger, and I'm gonna <laughs> hold it over, and I'm gonna stab into the book. Every single new thing is just adding a level of danger, and okay. what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Roll a d100 as you stab the book. Oh. 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 Oh my. Okay. Oh. Um, I need all three of you in that room to roll deck saves. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Sadie, stop. Sadie, Sadie, keep trying to kill mom. She's, eat mom. she's trying to eat Holden's earbuds. Ooh, that would be really funny. <laughs> okay. Holden didn't hear that, right? Nope. Um, yeah, I did actually. Six yells at Norm. That is a fair response. Okay, spot. so we got best six and who I need. I need oh, Doran. Did I you roll? An eight. I have an eight. Oh, that's your first one. Sorry. Okay. Um, as you stab into the page. Arcane, that same purple arcane energy that's kind of swirling around, something very similar, kind of like almost like electricity bursts out from the book and scatters across the room. Best, you you duck under, kind of like in between one of the bookshelves, and you're only going to take eight points of lightning damage. Ow. Six, not looking, and Doran being right in front of it, are both zapped for 16 lightning damage. And a, a lot oh. of the, the pages and parchments and books around the room are scattered about. Some of them actually singed. Do I hear that? Yeah, uh, yeah, while you're in the office, just I, I mean, I imagine the door to that room is still open. They didn't close it behind them, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you actually see, like, yeah. some some of the lightning, the purple lightning energy kind of, like, bolt out of the room a little bit. You're out of range, but you, you, you hear him go, ah! And, 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 then, and, then you, and then you just hear, like, the fluttering of pages and books. I think, and this isn't a very me expert opinion, we stop fucking with this book. Uh, I had uh, real quick. Uh, I have evasion, so I'm also only going to take the eight points. Sure thing. Oh, Thank you. Thorin looks bad again. Yeah. <laughs> Did any of the runes he doesn't change? say anything. Do any of the runes change? 
in the book. You look over at the book, and you weren't looking at it before. You, I mean, you wouldn't have memorized it, but there's no I obvious see. signs of change. I would nudge Doran and say, are, are the runes changed now since you, since you hurt the book? I marked them up to where I copied. Yeah, just having literally copied them, you can say definitively, I've just now realized, no, none of them have changed. Oh, fuck you, Holden. I uh, also, I'd like to think, has his feet on the desk, and he's kind of leaned back like this, reading, and he hears the commotion, and he just goes... He just goes, something. No, he just goes a really, really heavy sigh, like, <laughs> I fucking knew it. So, um, I, wa I would like to keep transcribing this, but it's gonna take me... How far into the book am I after ten minutes? After ten minutes, um, you have uh, successfully copied down uh, the first two pages. This is going to take me a long time. That's why I wanted to see if it could be opened or removed to PAs or something. But it doesn't seem as though it can. In fact, I don't think it li likes me very much. Do your book. So I pat it. <laughs> very tenderly. <laughs> nothing happens. I figured nothing would. I'm, I'm so sorry. Just, um, just for 30 seconds can, while you guys think of your next move, I really have to pee. Like, it'll just take me 30 seconds. The bathroom's 10 feet away. I will be right back. Okay. Yes, if you could increase the size of your urethra, on average, you would pee in a shorter amount of time. Hey, Holden. Hold on. I want to... Hold on. How many... No. What is the fluid amount of urine in Holden? a flea? Holden. Y yes. Are you allowed to talk about these Did you know that... That uh, that all all animals uh, pee for approximately twenty one seconds on average. Every animal from from a blue whale all the way down to itty bitty insects. It's it's a really strange uh, fluke of science, and it's true. You can look this up. That they just happen to all kind of pee around twenty one seconds. I mean, that's probably about how long it took me to pee as well just now. You're yep. like the yep. giant blue whale. And how I can't I can't find the content of urine in a flea, but I feel like I really. It would be so no, minuscule. It doesn't. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't no, like no, the fact no, that no. I pee the same as a So, uh, no. what what are you guys doing next? Um. Yeah. That I book. I'm going to open the book. Yep. And then try to close it with its cover being face down. What? So, so you're you trying to flip the book over? Yes. You cannot lift it from the podium. Okay, so, no, okay, so it's open, right? Yep, yep, yep. I want to close this end of it now. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Okay, so can I rotate the book? No. It, it okay. is as if, like, where where the book is on the podium, it is locked in place as long as one side is on the podium. So you can lift one side and close it, and then open that back up and lift the other side and close it, but you cannot remove the book or twist it or... or... Can I have both sides open but the spine's still on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. But it doesn't slide. No. You you can literally take both sides and, and prop them up and just have the spine there, but if you tried to lift it or anything, it wouldn't move. wouldn't budge. I, I look at six breath. You guys might want to leave the room for a second. Oh, and this Can is how Doran gets first? knocked unconscious. Go ahead. Doran, That's... do you mind if I try something first? Of course. I'm just going to see if I can get my knife underneath the book to pop it open. Pop it up. Um, right. It's sealed by magic, so... I've never met a, magic, a magician who couldn't be stabbed. <laughs> you raise a good point, I say, backing out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that one? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I've never met a magician who couldn't be stabbed. That's pretty good. I grabbed three more books. Okay. Uh, That's going to be all the yeah. books I grab. Uh, so you try your method, and then I will try not to die. All right. Six walks up to the up to the book there, um, and he looks for a barcode number. <laughs> okay. You do not find one. <laughs> uh, noticing that, uh, he says... Uh, May I check this book out, please? And attempts to pick it up. Good try, but nothing happens. All right, Doran, go at it. Are you going to leave the room? Yep, I'm already gone. 
Okay, I, I um, lift up both sides of the spine is. Yep. And I'm gonna not trying to damage the book at all. Trying my You're gonna best. be trying to be careful. I'm gonna try to wedge my knife underneath. Make a sleight of hand check. As six walks out, I look at him and I go. <laughs> you go three, two, one. Doran, I need you to make a deck save. <laughs> Twenty. Six plugs his ears and okay. Alistair gets to one. Yeah, he gets to one. Doran, you're gonna take four points of lightning damage as a little shock shoots out from the bolt and gets your hand. Are you alive? Yeah, that did. That was fine. Yeah. So it, it, I like the, the the way it goes. Alistair sees both of them walking out, and he goes three. Two, one, and then and then Doran. Oh! <laughs> like, <laughs> I lean back and I go like a fucking book. <laughs> uh, does the book move at all now? No. Let's see. Let's see. Looking at the uh, librarians, I assuming I'm assuming their desk. Uh, is there? Do I see any sort of uh, checkout system at all? Any any <laughs> hints of one? I mean, maybe it's something simple like this. I'm going to sign up for an account, please. <laughs> <laughs> the Okay, there are two things in this room in particular that could be something like that. Uh, this okay. area to the left over here does seem to be uh, some sort of, like, depository? I, I don't know what you call it. Like, like a, it, it looks like this might be receptacle. Um, the, the books are kind of, well, this whole place is in disarray, but just by the, the, the number, the way of book, the way the books are there, it kind of looks like there are individual slots to put books into. So maybe there's something to that. Um, okay. Other than that. Are these windows? The, the, yes, that is a window. And there's also a giant window emitting light behind the desk that you're sitting at. And the desk oh. is the only other indication of something like that. I'd like to turn around and see the window. window. Okay, you turn around and look out the window, and there's no scenery, only light. Hmm. I can't believe none of us did that. Uh, Best did as soon as you guys got in here. Oh! My bad. Which is why I, I came up with an answer so quick. I, <laughs> I can't believe Best is so fucking smart. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of the room. Yo, I have one more thing I'm gonna do before I call this one quits. Wait, wait, let me try something. Oh, I was just gonna shoot something at it. Okay, good luck. No, uh, I'm gonna go in there, and I'd like to use my fifth level spell slot, my last fifth level spell slot, to cast Legend Lore. Uh, when touching uh, an item, I gain info on said item that I am touching. <sighs> okay. Um, I am going to just look at this real quick just to be sure exactly what you're getting here um yeah let me look to uh the, uh, the spell readings uh, to your mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing you named the lore might consist of okay a brief summary of the significant lore okay we're level 10 right and the yes the more information you okay. already have about the thing the more precise and detailed the information you receive is oh might be couched I should have done that in language. the first place but forgot I had it okay <laughs> Clever girl, I am taking you to Secret Secrets. Okay, going in. Hi, Ca Hi. casting legend lore. You move up to the book, and you hear the voice of Mistra within your head. Wait, let me pull up notes. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I want to keep track of what is going on here and didn't have anything up to take notes with. Okay, and the voice of Mistra in my head. Mm -hmm. A pleasant spell, once, or now turned dark. A book of many places, a prophecy stark. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you say that one more yeah. time? Yeah. Oh, this is, uh, I, I don't have this written down, so hopefully I'm saying the same thing. A pleasant okay. spell, now turned dark. Okay. A, a book of places, a prophecy stark. Okay. Around the world, this once took men. Mm-hmm. But now yeah. destroyed, never again. 
Okay. That's what you get. That's what I get? Yep. Cool. I'll take us back. Thank you. I mean, about the same since we since we talked this morning. Doing okay, you know. Why did you post? I don't care about the link to peeing. That's... I appreciate it, but I don't care. Is going to Sorry. turn around, facing whoever is in the doorway. Mm -hmm. If anybody's still looking mm -hmm. in, that'd be Doran. Just Doran. I'm gonna pretend to roll my eyes into the back of my head and say, "A pleasant spell now turned dark. A book of places." A prophecy stark around the world this once took men, but now destroyed never again. <laughs> oh! Storm's gonna start clapping. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! That was completely improvised. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to use that spell. I oh god. I wish I had something better written for it, but I just had to I just as soon as it said cryptic language, I was like, oh boy, I'm going to have to make up a little poem on the spot. Here we go. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> well, there's just Doran clapping. Take a bow. That was gorgeous best. Take a bow. I take, I take a bow. So, wait, was it written in common? What? Is is the is the book written in... Wait, I'm confused. No, the voices, they spoke to me. <laughs> okay. Do you want to okay. hear it again? what they said um i would like to write that down uh, if possible or or ask doran too since he has uh noodles i mean a pen and <laughs> oh. okay. i'm uh, just gonna put it in roll 20 here for you this okay good still what to the breadsticks no i'm not using the breadsticks i'm my my my, my uh carbonara clara could you reconnect and roll 20 please no. Okay. Spell now turned dark. A book of places. A prophecy stuck around the world. This once took men, but now destroyed. Never again. All right. That's just some quick cryptic knowledge about the book. I I, I had a spell that I, I I know a spell that I initially forgot, but I know how to cast this spell to gain more information about objects like this. So. Perfectly uh, executed. Um, I, I bow again. Things should be appropriately That's vague. That doesn't seem very well thought out. It seems like it was made up on the spot. You know, the voice in my head did seem unsure. No confidence? Lacking confidence? Hmm. Probably has a small penis. No, Mistra said that very confidently, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Holden didn't. <laughs> Does Mistra have a small penis? She must, apparently. According to Doran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a yeah. good lag. <laughs> he lagged. It was like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you telling me not to shoot a uh, magic spell at this book? Um, I don't think you should. I mean, it says about the book that it's now turned dark. I mean, we don't really want to uh, upset it. I'm a little bit curious what it has to say about the prophecy. Places a prophecy start. That sounds interesting. Uh -huh. Holden, uh, yes. Did you did you mention the second thing that was potentially interesting? I'm sorry. Uh, did you? So you you said there were two two things that were um, potentially interesting. Uh, one was this area here, and then I don't think did you? Oh, say the I second? said the set. The second was just the the desk that Alistair was sitting at is the only thing that okay. could otherwise be what you gotcha. were looking for. Um. Uh, uh, I'll um, okay. <laughs> okay. What about those uh, other three books that I grabbed? The other three? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you already roll? Th for these them? are the last three. I promise. Okay. You already rolled. Uh, seventy-seven, forty-eight, thirty-one. Let me grab something to drink. I'll be right back. Real okay. Um. Okay. Uh, you find um real bolts on the permutations of the elements. Uh, a, a very thick book about al uh, it's uh alchemy essentially, ways to transmute gold and other things. Okay, maybe not as lame, but also kind of lame, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, uh, and then the next one you find is De Orbis Malefex. 
a book on curses and evil eyes. Uh, pass. Okay. And the last one you find is uh, Sarah's Manual of Nothing, um, which is a, a book about creative uses for voids, holes, and absence of things. Voids and holes. Wait, Maybe creative kind of uses intriguing. for holes? What? Um, I'll leave that one on the desk. Okay. I will put wait, wait. You, we literally have a book called Creative Abuses for Holes, and you're going to leave it? <laughs> it's on the desk. He's not putting it back or throwing it somewhere. He's leaving it there as, oh. like, a maybe. Okay. I'll leave all those. I'll leave these those three in a pile, because I think other people in the party might have some good use for them. Okay. But uh, after that, I'm going to um, press the... Hold on. I have to remember if this works. Okay. So on this desk now is the student records, staff records, uh, Sarah's manual of nothing, um, six or I think six has the leather bound journal with the arcane codes, and then several other books uh, that Alistair. I have the yeah, I have the uh, the student and staff books as well. You have the student three. and staff books. Okay. Yes, I have not opened them to look at them yet. Um, okay, well Alistair is uh, there-ish. I'll go ahead and kind of give this good this area a good investigate over here to see what I can discover. Okay, make an investigation check. Ooh, Best is gonna follow him. Okay, Best, you may uh, give him advantage or roll on your own. Advantage! Alright, Six, roll investigation with advantage. Here we go. With a 15. <laughs> Looking around, um, you don't... You, you kind of... There's like all these other books like um, with, with funny, long, uh, drawn-out names like the other ones Alistair's been looking at. But you do find... A couple of scrolls with Bess's help. Okay. Bess and Six, I would like for you two to first roll D10s for me. How many? Uh, just one D10 each. <laughs> okay. I got a nine. Oh boy. Okay, and now I need both of you to roll. Um. 1d100. Okay. Okay, Bess, you find a spell scroll. And what you find is a scroll of Guiding Bolt. Cool. Six, however, you also find a spell scroll. And what you find is a scroll of dominate monster um an eighth level spell holy shit Matt, would you like to uh hold on to this i i think it's more of your alley oh uh sure i'd love to take a look all right okay does it look difficult a... to learn it looks incredibly difficult to learn, but you can always use it once and expel, uh, expand it, expend it rather. Uh, do you announce these finds to your party? Yes. Yeah. So you, you, you yep. guys here, they do the, that. They found a spell of uh, a spell scroll of um, of guiding bolt, guiding bolt. and of and dominate the... monster. Exactly. Um, for that guiding bolt, I can always glyph it onto something if you give me an hour. Ooh! That way, uh, we can put it on a glass bottle if you smash it on someone's head. It, it explodes! That's sick. Awesome. Wouldn't that hurt you, though, since you're so close to it? No, because it's a targeted spell, isn't it? <laughs> It'll just shatter into their face with the spell. I thought it was a... Range... Range target spell, you hit one person. I, I don't know. Okay. Did you say that there was like a book slot thing over here? Yeah, where... there are like these, all these shelves in the center here and on the sides appear to be like, rather than like long shelves, they are, there are individual slots for books. Interesting. Um, are there books in them? There are some, yeah. Uh, I'll pull one out and examine it. You can roll a D100. 
So Holden, how do you like uh, the You're a Librarian sesh? <laughs> uh, not going exactly as I expected, but it never does. Um, okay. Okay. You find, actually, a another scroll. Okay. And written in large, beautiful prints at the top of it is protection, banishing, and destruction. Um, best? Yeah? Um, you, uh, you did some, some banishing or, or something a little while ago, right? Um, one oh, of yeah. those, That's one of those. one of the things I can do. Uh, here's, here's a scroll. Um, you also might enjoy. I, I, I'm just, I'm not very magical, and I keep finding these things. So, there you oh, go. Thank you. I it's take it. It's about protection. Best as you take it, you just kind of get give it another glance. You take a closer look, uh, recognizing some of the 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 wording and the arcane um, theory. This <laughs> this scroll is uh, kind of like a little tutorial on how to better uh, take care of. Um, household nuisances such as rats and fleas and flies. <laughs> That's Never easy. Mind. I'm gonna hold on to that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that it's not useful. I'm gonna say this is gonna be very useful and pocket it. Okay. Good. Uh, I I think it's something about protective spells. Indeed, it is. That is thank all. That's what it says. Thank you for top. pointing it out. All right, <laughs> Alistair, Doran, what are you guys doing? Um, you go first. No, I don't know what I'm doing, so you go first. I would be looking in here again, and just thumbing through anything that looks interesting to me. Okay. Um, without a roll, I can tell you going in there, the only interesting things are what appear to be alchemical gradients, obviously the podium and book in the center, and all the other books and parchments in here just list locations. Okay. Um, is there any liquid on the, the alchemical table? No, it doesn't appear to be. No. If I had acid, I'd try to burn the book, and I'd walk out, shut the door. <laughs> Get out there and go, shit's crazy in there. I bet it is. I'd Let's, uh... sit in front of him and just grab one of the books off the table. Let's give this desk, just the, the full desk, a crazy good search. Make sure there's no secret buttons or anything like that. Just just to satiate my curiosity. All four of you will be participating in this? Um, if, I'll, I'll take whoever's help. Yeah. I'll help them. Okay. Uh, Are there six... two windows behind the desk, too? Yeah, there's one large window. Okay. Um, given who who checked it the first time, it was six and Doran. No, it's, yeah, six and Doran or Alistair. Who checked the desk the first time? No, I haven't. Uh, it was Alistair. I think it's six and Alistair. So Bess and Doran, yeah. you guys can roll since the other two have already checked. You guys can roll either individually or with advantage. One with advantage. Um, do you want the advantage? Sure. What Bess, am I rolling? Roll investigation with advantage. You are helping. All four of you are combing the desk now, looking for something. Investigation. Yeah. There it is. All righty. So, as as the four of you are coming over it once more, Doran, you just start kind of like reaching under the desk and just running your hand along something. And all of a sudden, all four of you hear a click. And Doran, you feel like a little pressure along one of your fingers. And you push. And a small trapdoor compartment underneath the desk rips open. And there are four scrolls in it. Now, each of you can roll me a d10. I will roll you a d10, Holden. Only if you ask me nicely. Say please. And now each of you can roll me a d100. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isaac, I think that's the highest you rolled on anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Alistair, you uh, find... A scroll of Firebolt. The cantrip <laughs> Firebolt. Best? Now, you can learn the spell from scrolls, right? Um, Technically, yes. I, I, I actually have to double check. I, that might just be a wizard thing. But I think technically anyone could. 
I mean, it, as it, long as you can cast magic. Yeah, I, I, I'll have to, I'll have to look more into that, um, and and you know, give an official ruling on mine because I think anyone who like puts enough time and effort into it and knows magic at all should be able to. So yes, um, I'm just gonna kind of tentatively say yes for now. Bess, you okay. find five and sixty-five. A scroll of staggering smite. Staggering smite? What is that? Oh. Sounds powerful. Staggering smite, just glancing at it, you discern that um, when you use it, the next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration, your weapon pierces both body and mind, and the attack does, deals an extra 46 psychic damage. That's awesome. Can you discord me that? Or can I just look it up? Yeah, it's it Staggering up. Smite you have a scroll of. Cool, um, yep. Yeah. Thank Doran, you. Doran, you grab... Hey, you grab... A... Oh, boy. A scroll of... Actually, I need you to re-roll. I'm sorry. Re-roll the D100. Just the D100. Whack. I need you to re-roll the D100 again. <laughs> okay, here we go. You find a scroll of Magnificent Mansion. Nice. A seventh level spell. And wow. uh, uh, six. You I'm six. Yes, you are six. You find a scroll of... Re-roll, please. <laughs> the D100. <laughs> What does that spell do? It's, yeah. uh, we roll too high on his table, yep. and he doesn't want to give us that. No, it's I you know. roll too high on the table, and there's literally nothing. It says re-roll. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I... Mm, never mind. You found a fucking 8th level spell. You think I... Never mind. Um, you have found, 6, a scroll of Create Undead. Uh, Alright, I'll... I'll, I'll... I'll put that in my bag. Yeah, you guys can trade or do whatever you want with these, but I just had to assign one to each of you for the table. Um, I think I'll hold on to that. Okay. For now. All right. Um, well, that didn't solve our book mystery, did it? Nope. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> You're welcome. Um... Shall we, uh, what, what do you think our approach should be here? Shall we search the rest of the tables out here, see if there's anything uh, that might give us any clues? Or... I'm, I'm kind of curious Never as mind. to why there's so many books and papers all over the floor. Indeed. Why are we here again? Oh, Dorothil said that this could be a cool place to find information about, like, how to combat the rats, right? No. The history, yeah. Um, That's not what he said. Anything. Thanks, Holden. Um. Because I'm only going to give you this information because it's we, we took a little extra longer since the last this happened a bit ago. I will say, Dorothil, and in game, this was like literally a day and a half ago. Oh, another thing. Uh, you all need to use a ration by now. Oh. If you would all remove one ration from your inventory, please. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Um. Yeah, but mentioning how long you've been in here reminded me. Um, what Durothil had told you uh, when pitching this idea is that if you found this library, there could probably be some powerful resources there. Which there appear to be. Contrarian Mechanical Spider. Why don't we take that with us? <laughs> It'll get six. <clears throat> and deadpan, just no smiles. <laughs> um... <laughs> It would have been helpful. We we did our best. So what is your guys' next move? Um, are those are these bookshelves here? Yeah. All of these. Yep. If it kind of looks like a bookshelf, it's a bookshelf. Are there books on top of the shelves, like in that graphic? Yep. There are books everywhere. Books and like parchments. On the and... top of them. I'm going to clamber to the top of a bookshelf. Sure. 
and read whatever book is there that I'm stepping on the space of. Sure, roll a demon 100. Oh, I didn't type. What time of day is this? <laughs> You're not sure. Are these benches? Am I tired? No, those are the the arcane portal steps that you came in through. Oh, I thought we came in like over here. Nope. I thought I saw my token over there. My bad. Nope. You you guys came in from here, and then the portal dissipated as you entered. Uh, Bess, um, um, you <laughs> you find Daringle's Spelling in Spells, uh, which is a book about spell modification. Oh, I want to take that. Okay. What's, what's the title of I it? I will put it in the chat for you now. Thank you. Okay, Six, you start You're looking so through nice. the record books. Which one first? Thank you. Uh, we'll go with students. With the student records? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I just kind of thumbing through looking for anything important or interesting, or are you looking for yeah, anything, anything specific? Uh, I'm not looking for anything specific, no. Um, just names that, that I might recognize anything that way. Names you might recognize. Make an investigation check. Yes. Unless anyone's helping him, but... 21. No, he didn't need help. There are, yeah, as you kind of thumb through, there are two mm -hmm. names you recognize. And this is going to take a little bit, uh, just to kind of go through the whole thing. Um, this appears to be a tome um, of the years... Let's see. You know right now the year is 851. This appears to be a tome of the years mm -hmm. 820 through 836. Um, okay. You're just kind of thumbing through. And you find the first thing that catches your, your eye is the name Light Press Feel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and? and what it says is, year 823, age 15, application accepted, entry exam passed, and then another note in red below that. Further studies barred due to conflict of interest. Conflicting t Direwood title. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if you want to talk about this or share this with your party, but... Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, well, first, what's the other name? The other thing you find is Malcolm Tomeweaver. Mm -hmm. Year 836. Four Band Apprentice. You don't know what four band means, but as in four, the number four and band. Um, age 19. Assigned to assist Zimmer Ellis. Experiments in, and then it is blacked out. Redacted. redacted. Re yeah, I literally, in my notes for reading this, it says in caps, redacted. Uh, yes, it is redacted. Um, notes underneath that in red. Shows great promise, but incredibly timid. Zimmer is a feisty one. He'll whip Malcolm into shape. Under that, mm -hmm. final examination lacking excitement, but very impressive. Consideration for leadership role approved, but turned down by Malcolm. And under that, currently resides in Direwood, Upper District. Fascinating. Best. Yes, I will uh, speak those, draw that, draw attention to those. Best would clamber down and ask to take a look, looking for a specific name. Sure. Um, hold on. You're taking Just the student one? What? You're taking a student yeah. one? Um, yeah. Does the name, are, are the initials E, E? That I'm looking for? Yeah. No, I only have the person's first name. And it's an R. Like, for, have you read Can, my... I have. Can you message me? Yeah. Can I snap it to you? Yeah, please do. Okay. Don't you mean T? My cousin Throckmorton. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I was just, thank you. Do I need note the name Rick the Hammer Brutality anywhere in this? <laughs> <laughs> you do not see that name anywhere in here, but there are in many, uh, or not, rather, there are no mentions of it uh, as files. But there are many notes of great tales of this hero. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh. Okay, yeah. Best make an investigation check flitting through the book. An investigation? Yes.
Okay, 14. Do you have her last name? No. No, okay. I mean, um, I didn't I didn't write one for her. That's I don't okay. know if I would have it. I got it. Uh, you would know her last name is... Uh, well, I'll, I'll say it here. Do you want me to say Redacted. it out loud, or do you want me to take you to Secret Secrets? Can we go to Secrets? Yes, we can go to Secrets, because you do find it. Wow, Bess is hiding something. You do find Rose Magley, M-A-G-L-E-E. -E. Mm -hmm. M A G L E E. Uh huh. Cool. Thank you. The Just notes, referencing that in the backstory. The notes say two band apprentice. Wait, what? Two band? Two band. Two hyphen band. B A N D. Uh -huh. You're not entirely sure what that means. Um, assigned to assist Zimmer Ellis. Experiments in redacted. There's in blacked out. Zimmer in, uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Zimmer in experiments, uh, I'm sorry, assigned to assist Zimmer Ellis, hyphen, experiments in, and then it's blacked out, so, like, redacted. Okay, I thought his last name was Kralith. Kralith? Zimmer? Zimmer Kralith. Oh, we did decide that, didn't we? You're yes. right, you're right, my bad. Yep, it is Zimmer Kralith. Um, Thank you. Uh, but then, you also find for her, so, two-band apprentice assigned to Zimmer, um, and it also says, uh, a note in red underneath, Zimmer's second apprentice. Uh, hopefully he doesn't scare this one off. Cool. I would also like to search for the through the book for reference of Zimmer to find who his first apprentice was. Oh, does it have any current location for her? It does not. Okay. But this book can is I also old. For, can I can I look for for Zimmer being mentioned in other notes? Yeah. That'll take some time, but yes. I would like to do that. Okay, looking for Zimmer in other student notes. With your investigation of fourteen, you did not find Zimmer mentioned anywhere else in this book. Okay, not even under Malcolm Tomeweaver? Well, or I mean, no. under Malcolm Tomeweaver, you know about that. That Like, you don't find him anywhere else mentioned in this okay. book, specifically. Okay? Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Interesting. So I feel like it would have been way more. There's a lot of little buggies. So, hold on, do you know the average size of creatures on Earth is 15 pounds? Yeah, lots because of little buggies. Because there's so yeah. many bugs. The, yeah, don't don't insects like outnumber humans a million to one or something wild. Uh, something probably frogs. Like but yeah. anyway, I fucking love frogs. Um, Bess uh, takes the student book, the student records book, and, and flips through it for some time, stopping a couple of times to read something. What what is Was everyone there else doing? Was there a staff doing? book as well? There is a staff records book. There is. I would uh, if, as soon as I handed over the the student book, I would have started flipping through that staff book as well. Looking for anything specifically, or just any names you recognize? Um, again, thing names that I might recognize. Okay, names you might recognize. I'm gonna skip this one because you would find this rather easily. Okay. Entry: Zimmer Kralith. Age: Redacted. <laughs> Year 832. Seven band master. Apprentice number four pending. Are you reading this out loud? Yes. Okay. Apprentice. Wait, I want to take notes on this. Okay. So, age redacted. And this is from the year 832. The current year is 851. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Seven band master. Apprentice, uh, and then in notes, apprentice number four, pending. Eric Ellis, last known lo location, Ustaria, Western Farmlands. Wait, I'm sorry, what? He's reading this out loud? Yeah. Can you repeat that? I assume six obliges and says apprentice yes, number I, four, I, I, pending. I can and do. Appre yeah, apprentice number four, pending for Zimmer Kralith. Eric Ellis. Last lo uh, last known location, Ustaria, Western Farmlands. And then other notes under Zimmer Kralith. Intelligent, cunning, a bit of a troublemaker. Special specialization in redacted. Researching, redacted. 
170 final examinations conducted. Six commendations for redacted. <laughs> Currently resides in redacted. Well, that's helpful. I say finishing. Can I look through the student book again for the last name Ellis? Yeah. You look through. You do not find... Um, you, you do not find Ellis in that book. But actually, as you're looking through specifically for Ellis, you do find one suspicious thing that catches Six's eye as well and anybody else who else might be paying attention to this. There is one page that is squeaky clean. Like, like this book is, you know, dusty and old. and But this page has, like, the new book smell. And it is as oh, yeah. if, by magic, somebody removed everything but the name at the top. The name being Melissa Elliken. Does that name sound familiar at all? No. It's just a, sus it's a suspicious thing. Because the rest of the book is dusty and weird. This is, like, squeaky, new, fresh book clean. With nothing but the name at the top. Melissa Elekin. And you happen to find it because you were looking for Ellis. Alistair goes, huh, odd. And nobody else? No other names? Nothing else that uh, catches your eyes interesting. There are plenty of other student records of uh, random student, insert name here, two band apprentice, studying blank. Like, there's a lot of mundane records that don't really interest you. Okay. Okay. When in looking in the staff book, can I look for the name um, that I was looking for before? One from my backstory. You can, and you would not find it in there. Okay. So while Six and Bess have largely been, been going through these books and, and going through them quite a lot, um, what have Alistair and Dorne been doing? Because it's going to take some time for them to go through all of this. Um, I was going to go over to the portals. What is this like a little nook for... Or is this like another desk? Yes. I'm gonna go check that desk out. Okay. What are you looking for? Uh. Um. Fuck. I also look for fuck at death. Occasionally. I'm gonna look for anything pertaining to how to exit the library. Okay. Um. Make an investigation check. Doran, what are you doing? I would like to walk up to a window as far away from other people as possible and start looking to see if I can open it. Okay. You, you move. There's no, it is a pane of glass, flat. Nothing appears to be like a latch or something you could open it with. I, I look at my a book. I look at the window. I look at the book. I look at the window. <laughs> I look at the book. I look at the window. <laughs> Alistair. What? How mad would you be if I broke a window? If we die, mad. If we don't die, I don't care. Honestly, I'm surprised this hasn't come up earlier. I want to happen. What? He wants to see. He I wants want, to see what happens. I want to see what happens. I can think of a few things, and most of which are bad, but I am curious. Do we have, um, does anyone, can we dispel magic? I cannot. I can give myself a really cool goatee at a whim, but. No. No. Not right now with my spell slots completely gone. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, breaking a, a window, um... Might be interesting. I think it might be more interesting if we could figure out how to get this book home with us. I'm t I'm done with that book. It hurt me a lot. You well, hit you the book. You tried to stab it. I did try to stab it. That is correct. 
these are things that happen. All right. I would like to knock on the window and see how thick I think it is. Just ding, ding, ding. Uh, just based on knocking on it, it doesn't appear super thick. It, do it, I think I could crack it? Like, if I try to crack it without shattering it, do I think I could do it pretty well? You could certainly try. It's probably possible. Just as much as any glass. Okay, I think I've had enough breadsticks for tonight. <laughs> Uh, while he's thinking about that, Alistair, at the desk, you don't find anything pertaining to exiting the library. But you do find a ledger of sort, a couple of ledgers. Um, one time tracking, one being, a, a, you know, a faculty member X spent this many hours in the library. Uh, another appears to be a, a book ledger. Uh, student Y took this book for this many days. Student Z took, uh, returned this book on this whatever. Um, okay. A lot, of, a lot of boring administrata. I'd like to see who the last person to sign on the sheet was. Okay. Um, the last person to um, was uh, Eleanor Gilvaris returned um, a spell scroll. What was the last book checked out that wasn't returned? Yeah. Um, Alistair has that thought. I'm kidding. Is that too meta? No, that's fine. Okay. I mean, we're kind of playing this loosely, like you guys are looking at stuff. You, you can be wherever. Um, the last book that was taken out was taken out by Renhorn Zinrin. Um, and it was um, the Cyclopedia Golemica. Wait, wh what was that person's name? Renhorn Zinrin. Can you spell that? Sure. Let me put it in chat. Copy. And... There you are. Thank you. Doran, you have a decision on the window? When we find a way to leave, I'm going to break a window, and then if something bad happens, we can run for it. Okay. Run where? Once we find a way to leave, then we will... Uh... See, I'm thinking ahead this time. Maybe there wasn't an invisible bridge. Maybe that won't kill us. Uh, uh, great. Um, all right. Well, we do have three portals back here still. Or three. Yeah. Portal stands, quote unquote. Something like that. Portal stands. Staircases to no place. Um, I would really like to take this book. Which one? The purple one. I'm sorry, what? The purple one? The purple book. I would really like to take the purple book with us. It's it's stuck. Oh, that book. Okay. That one. So uh, you guys have been in the library for about a couple hours now. Okay. I know it's not a good idea, but I kind of want to stay here until someone comes in and be like, hey, library, can I see the date that the last person was in? Yes, um, it would have been, uh, let me look at this, it would have been year 836, um, Actually, I can give you a specific date, though. I can tell you the, the, the like, day of the month and all, all that, but it wouldn't, like, these are the, like, special names for the uh, the calendar we're not actually using yet. Uh, but it would have been um, the 6th, uh, the 6th of Azkova. So the 6th, the 6th day of, actually, make a history check. I just got the shit scared out of me by a June bug that pelted my window at Mach fucking 10. <laughs> we now had a wasp just... get into the apartment the other day. Yeah, it was terrible. He's sitting on the screen like, what the fuck? History check? Yep. Yeah, it is It is uh, the year 836, the sixth day of Azkova. You, you don't know if there's anything significant to that day. Hey, what day is it today? Today, it is the year 851. And it is... So, nobody's been here for 15 fucking years. Yeah, and it is the eighth day of Celestial. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what if I'm in gonna... a library, it's still the eighth day of Celestial? 
Um, I'd turn back and say nobody's been in this library for 15 years. We have. Thanks, Doran. Everybody but Doran. Nobody's <laughs> been in this library for 15 years. No, no, that's not true. There's no one who's been marked has been in this library for 15 years. We have no clue if other people have been here without marking it down. As I look at where his voice is coming from, I write my name in the book and the day. <laughs> okay. So, I, I, so, what that means to me is the last time this library was a functional library was 15 years ago. Since then, it's become run down, deserted, and as I rip a piece of paper in half, ruined. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise, that's when the explosion hit. Oh! That's news to me. I didn't know the exact time. Hm. Oh, actually... Uh, would Alistair? Wait, what did you just say? That's when the explosion occurred. Would Alistair know that it was 15 years ago? Alistair making that joke in just missing the DC would now realize, oh, that last day, the, the, the last uh, date in there was the day before the explosion in Direwood. 15 years ago. <laughs> so I'd realize that? Yeah, you'd make the joke and be like, oh, wait, actually, it was. <laughs> Oh, that was the explosion day. Oh, it was the explosion day. <laughs> Last <laughs> entry is the day before the explosion. Doran peeks his head and ground and goes, Do we celebrate that day or do we like not talk about it? I don't think we talk about it. Okay, I'm not from around here. I just want to make sure I don't make any <laughs> cultural faux pas, if you will. Oh, me neither, but I, I just think, I don't know. Do, it <laughs> do we celebrate 9-11? <laughs> we remember it. Exactly, we don't celebrate it. Um... So, Alistair is now, uh, hold on, I yes. take back what I said. Okay. Picking up five more books. Uh, having that switch flipped in his brain that nobody has been here for 15 years goes, haha, no more library return system. <laughs> 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 okay, um, before we get to that, is there anything in particular anyone would like to get to or do? Can I do 10 books and then you just message me and then I go, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no? Maybe after the session. Okay. Um, Doran, would look at all the books that are open on the desk. Like in the in the graphic, there are books that are open. Yep, you're just, you're just looking at them? I want to see what, what books they are that are still open. I want to tell you right now, it's just going to be the D100 table again. Okay. I would like to look at them and tell and look at if they've been opened. If, if the dust on the open books less or more than the dust around it or equal. Make an to investigation were, check. To see if they were opened like, later than things. Okay. Uh, with a 12. Um, you go around and it appears, every book you look at, it, it appears as if they've been here. Uh, and not moved for about the same amount of time, though dust doesn't settle perfectly evenly. It, it, it's hard to say, but probably. I pick up one of the candles. Okay, do you have a candle? I'll just kind of look at it. Huh. Something's eerie about this area. I had to go to my mom's. I'm, I'm on voice. I'm just not on video for right now. Okay. Well, I haven't been on video for me for a while. I would like to thumb through the bookshelves and just look for empty spots on the bookshelves. There are plenty. And, see, and look at the dust on that spot. Am I going to get the same? It looks like everything around here has been moved for the same amount of time. With a 12, probably. Though there are a couple of spots that have plenty of dust, but maybe not as much as others. Like maybe somebody has been here and taken books, but be odd to only have a couple missing so maybe hmm. hey Alistair yes look for the book that's been checked out the most often I will thumb through and search for that okay that would be let's see um The most often would be from this library. 
actually. Um, Daringle's Spelling and Spells. With a book about modification of spells. Hmm. And we have that one, right? I have that one! Okay. I'm gonna hop the counter. Yep. I look at the portals. Yep. And go... Open says me? Open does not. I'd like to leave. Nope. Um, I have checked out these books and I'm ready to go home. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried walking through the middle one? I haven't. I'll stand in the middle of the portal. You, you walk up it, nothing happens. Just that dim, faint glow and um, hum. Does mm -hmm. anyone have electricity? Any lightning spells? Uh, mm. That are lower in tier or cantrip style? Uh, I have sacred flame. I, I don't. Not lightning. Oh, duh. <laughs> I'd like to go up to one of the shelves away from where everybody can see me, like over here. Mm-hmm. And take out one of my own handwritten journals and put it in one of the slots where one of the books are missing. Okay. You do so. And then go back over to the portal. Okay. I've donated a piece of literature to the library. May I leave? Nothing happens. Fuck. I go and grab it again. <laughs> I, I would like to walk over and shoot a firebolt through the far right portal. Okay. <laughs> it, it hits the bookshelf and the bookshelf starts burning. Oh, oh, no! oh, oh, oh. I thought magic might do something as I start trying to fan it out with my. With <laughs> okay, uh, you, um, you, you quickly try to fan it out and, the, and you know, die it down, and the bookshelf is singed and many books are ruined, but eventually you're able to like ah, get it down. Well, so it, it might just have to be like lightning magic, um, which I cannot consistently cast unless I shoot a lightning bolt into the wild. <laughs> what is this? Up there it has already been investigated, and it is a small skull of some sort in our uh, alchemical ingredients. Okay, that's the skull, gotcha. I would like to go under this desk and see about finding the same uh, hidden compartment. Okay, uh, make an investigation check. Nope. Yeah, you do not find one. You find the same ledgers that Al uh, Alistair had already talked about. I'd like to then head up to the purple room. Okay, you enter the purple room. I do. Hello, book. Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Does the book say anything? That's a new sentence for the English language. <laughs> I'd like to put my hand on the top of the book and uh, may I'm ready to leave. May I leave? You put your no. hand on top of the book. And you can feel arcane energy passing through your hand. But the words you say don't seem to do anything. Um. Makos me an exitos. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing? Damn. No. Any luck, Alistair? No. What are you doing? Uh, trying to talk to the book. Hmm. I'll walk in there. Did you feel anything? Uh, a little bit of energy in my hand, but uh, it's interesting how it's not shocking me when you're just talking to it. I need to put my hand on it. Okay. Don't. Mm. I have an idea. Bring me to the entrance. Nothing happens. Damn. Do I feel that arcane energy? Just, you do see. Feels... You do feel the arcane energy like moving through your hand as if you're about to cast a spell. I would like to pull out my piece of paper. Oh, I, I go, mm. I start so thumbing through. Do I recognize any locations on the floor? Um, if you just start looking through locations on the floor, um, roll a d20 for me. A four. The first location you recognize is the Gobble Inn in Priest. I go, oh, I don't want to go there. Um, what's the name of it, the new base for the Cloak Rangers? Shine, Shine Bright Manor. Shine Bright Manor, Direwood. Nothing happens. 
Goblin priest. Nothing happens. I would like to cast Try mending writing. on the book. You want to cast what? Mending. I know it's not broken in any way, shape, or form, but it is a cantrip. It is a spell, technically. Yeah. You, you push that into the book, and you feel the arcane energy leave your hand, and you see, you see, like, you almost watch as a ripple appears in the arcane energy flowing around the podium in the book from your spell, but nothing happens. Maybe you should write down the location. That's what are, they come to are you all in the room now at this point? Yeah. Six, are you going to join them? Yeah, I'll be in there. Okay. Bess, you were saying? Oh, did you try writing down the location that we want to go to? Like all, like each of the each of the papers has the name of, has the name of somewhere, right? And there was blank parchment in there. True. I'll take I, one and write uh where do you want to go? Shine bright? Shine right man of direwood. And then I'd uh, put it on the book. You put it on the book. As you, you take a piece of parchment and write the location on it, you place it on the book and you watch that the page is absorbed into the book and the whirring picks up and, and begins to spin faster and faster around you guys and you can feel yourselves begin to, to levitate and then all at once everything is black. And that is where we'll pick up next time. And we all die. Fuck yeah. <laughs> New characters. Yeah. <laughs>